Good evening and welcome to Big Z Sports presentation of High School Baseball. Tonight, the Carrollton Warriors host the Garraway Pirates. Tonight's game is presented by the Tuscaramas Insurance Agency. Tonight's game is also brought to you by Wayne Door, Wood Electric, Auto Works Collision Center of Strasburg, Wendy's, Unified Insulation, and McInturf Realty. Now let's head to the field with Big Z Sports. Spring has sprung in more ways than one. Big Z Sports here with the sun shining here from Carrollton, Ohio, as we are set for the opening of our spring season and the opening day for the Carrollton Warriors and the Garraway Pirates. Good afternoon, evening, whatever you want to call it, everybody. <laughs> In our Wood Electric pregame show, we are going to have a great early season tilt for high school baseball. Nick McWilliams and Aaron Stump will be on your call for this evening. And the case and the Claxon Communications crew will be here uh, bringing you all the live play-by-play -play picture action. Stump, I don't know about you, but I'm super excited. I'm also a huge baseball fan, so this is what always gets me excited to go here right as we start the spring season. Well, that's the greatest thing about being part of the Z Sports team. We always look forward to those first days of the next season. When basketball season, we're all happy to be inside and warm, and it had a great season. Again, uh, congratulations to all our uh, local uh, high school sports. A lot of them had some great success down the start, our, uh, state tournament, and, and like you said, it, it is a great day to have opening day here for baseball. It certainly is. This is actually the first First time I've got to come down here to uh, Carrollton as we've been doing our baseball coverage. And, you know, i got to say, I uh, absolutely love the natural grass infield, the natural grass outfield. Kind of an interesting thing. It's not as common as it used to be. As we know, the Garraway Pirates actually play on the turf, so we'll see if that ends up being a factor in this. Yeah, it doesn't matter what sport we're in these days. It seemed like a couple teams had the turf. Now mm -hmm. more and more are going to it. And, and to, to what you said, it almost becomes a home court advantage or home field advantage to have the natural turf. And, and maybe you have that team that's not quite sure if you're really going to get those true bounces every time in the back of their mind do they stay down on the ground balls and uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens uh, opening day it certainly will be as we're going to take our first time out as a part of our pregame and when we come back we'll be going through our coach interviews we caught up with both head coaches brought to you by the Cush financial group stick around baseball's back with big z sports Hi, I'm Zach Motice with the Tuscross Insurance Agency. For all your auto, home, farm, and business insurance needs, contact our team at the Tuscross Insurance Agency. Or stop in and see us at one of our three locations in downtown New Philadelphia, Sugar Creek, or in Strasburg. Providing excellent service to the Tuscross Valley since 1885. Everyone here at the Tuscross Insurance Agency would like to wish all area athletes good luck this season. Owners, are you ready to give your home a spring makeover? The Wayne Door Annual Spring Sale is happening April 1st through the 6th. Get ready to save big on garage doors, entry doors, windows, and more. It's the perfect time to enhance your curb appeal and security without breaking the bank. Visit our Dover and Cambridge showrooms to work with our team of experts. Let's make that spring dream a reality. And don't forget, for every $500 spent, enter for a chance to win one of three amazing prizes. Visit WayneDoor.com for more details, and we'll see you April 1st through the 6th for the Wayne Door Annual Spring Sale. Wood Electric has been trusted with all of your electrical needs for over 30 years. They are the place to call for residential, commercial, and industrial work. Wood Electric is available 24 hours a day and ready to help with any electrical problem, outage, or installation. Wood Electric, serving Tuscarawas County and beyond since 1988. Like Wood Electric on Facebook or find them online at woodelectric.net. Cush Financial Group has been proudly serving the financial needs of local community members for over 35 years. The team at Cush Financial follows an industry-leading service model with the unique approach and fiduciary responsibilities associated with their board-certified financial planner. With over 75 years of combined experience, the advisors at Cush Financial Group are here to help you achieve your financial goals. Contact the office at 330-308-8700 or visit cushfinancial.com to schedule your free consultation today. Securities and investment advisory services offered through Independent Capital Company Incorporated, member FINRA, SIPC. 
Welcome back to Carrollton. Big Z Sports bringing you high school baseball action for this spring season. As we will now go in the dugout with the coach, brought to you by the Cush Financial Group, and it is head coach for the Garraway Pirates and Justin Elmore. Coach, tell me a little bit about an early season tilt here against Carrollton. I know you guys got to be so excited and probably more excited than you would have been if this game happened over the weekend. Yeah, no question. I'm very excited. Obviously, it's opening day for us. Uh, Got a great test up early. I mean, they were very successful last year. Uh, we had a great game with them last year uh, as well. And uh, Coach Connolly does a really nice job. But we're just excited to get out and see if we can find some answers to some of the questions we got going into this thing. Well, uh, one question I definitely had for you was, seems to be a very uh, senior group that you guys have, very uh, experienced group that you guys are going to have out there on the field. How much do you think that'll help out? Hopefully a lot. I mean, it should carry uh, dividends, especially early. Uh, yeah, we got. There's 11 seniors who have never had a roster like that before. Uh, they've been working really hard. Hopefully it translates to today. But, yeah, I mean, having the experience uh, hopefully is a huge asset for us going into this. Now, looking at the, all the offseason, you know, all the work that goes into that, making sure everybody's at the spots that they need to be, uh, what have you guys been kind of looking at in terms of what you want to see the most production out of here early on in terms of your offense? Uh, from an offensive perspective, it all starts at the top for us. Um, we got our first – Five guys in the lineup tonight are seniors and uh, all returning lettermen, all returning starters. So uh, it starts with them uh, and it comes with a disciplined approach. I mean, some of those guys are in different spots than what they were last year, but uh, they, they've got to just give us an opportunity to score runs. I mean, I feel like we're an extremely athletic team, but a couple of our scrimmages, we haven't got a lot of guys to do anything on base. So they've got to find a way to get on and hopefully we can do some things once that happens. And defensively, in uh, the first game of the year, you know, sometimes there can be a little bit of the jitters, so to speak. You might see some errors and stuff from either side. Uh, what are you guys going to be talking about in terms of in the dugout trying to stay focused? Just, it, just, it, it comes down to two things for us. we got to compete and we got to execute. And if we execute defensively, I mean, mistakes are going to happen, especially like you said early on in the year, it's expected. And we haven't had a lot of experience on grass. I mean, we're very blessed to have our turf infield, and so it's a different thing for our guys to get on this. But in the end, it, I mean, the distance is still the same. You go, you make plays, and you just got to play the bounces, play the hops, and go get it. So hopefully we're able to do that today. Ball might hop different, but it's still a baseball. It's still a baseball. <laughs> That's exactly right. It's still a baseball, and your job's still the same. It doesn't change. So, Well, thank you so much for your time, Coach. Good luck to the Pirates. All right, thanks a lot. Appreciate your coverage. Head Coach Justin Elmore for the Garraway Pirates, brought to you by the Cush Financial Group. Stick around because we've got the Carrollton Warriors on deck with Big Z Sports here in your spring season. Find your path to success at Buckeye Career Center. Buckeye students earned over 3,000 industry-recognized credentials this past school year, and over 130 students participated in our school-to-work program or an internship at a local business. Let us help you get a jump start on your future in a career of landscaping and turf management, pharmacy technician, HVACR, CAD development and design, or any of our over 30 programs. Enroll today for next school year by visiting BuckeyeCareerCenter.org. Wendy's new breakfast two for three dollar biggie bundles let you create your own delicious combo. Choose from a sausage biscuit, egg and cheese biscuit, small seasoned potatoes, and a medium hot coffee. But it's obvious which combo's the best. Sausage biscuit and small seasoned potatoes. Well, maybe it's the fresh cracked egg and cheese biscuit with a medium hot coffee. Or two savory sausage biscuits. Yeah, uh, whichever you pick, you can't go wrong. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new two for three dollar biggie bundles. Limited time only. U.S. price of participation may vary. Not valid in a combo. Single item at regular price. Live more comfortably this winter with the help of Unified Insulation Systems. Unified Insulation Systems is a full-service insulation and weatherization provider that can show you how to properly insulate your home or business. With good insulation from Unified Systems, you can prevent your gutters from freezing and get rid of your high-energy bills. Call Jeremiah Thomas today for your free quote at 330-773-7377 or visit unifiedinsulation.com. Call Unified Insulation Systems today, your most trusted name in insulation. At Kaufman Realty and Auctions, you've got options. Your property is unique, and our agents know how to sell it. Whether it's a traditional listing or live auction, we'll earn you top dollar. Our agents will utilize whichever method of sale works best. When buying or selling your next home, call on Kaufman. 
Welcome back into your Wood Electric pregame show as we're going to go in the dugout with the coach, head coach for the Carrollton Warriors, and Brian Connolly. And coach, uh, obviously, you know, Carrollton coming out here, opening day for this season. Beautiful day. Yeah. Uh, I know you guys are excited to get it back out here. Yeah, it's a gorgeous day. I know last year we opened with Carrollton. It was about 30 degrees colder <laughs> and the wind was blowing. So we were just laughing about that a minute ago. So, uh, yeah, a lot nicer day today. Uh, on top of that, you know, we were going up and down your roster. We were actually talking before this season even got started. You guys return. I mean, about as much as you probably could from last year's uh, team, and I know that has to be exciting for you. Yeah, we lost a really good group of kids, too, though. Uh, good leaders, good baseball players, good families. Uh, so we're missing them for sure. We're missing their leadership and their and their ability to play baseball. But, uh, yeah, we think we've got a nice group of replacements. We've got some younger faces, some sophomores starting now. So we're still just getting used to each other and figuring out how to, how to go about this. And in an early season matchup, I know that uh, there's the potential for some errors to happen. There's some potential to be some mistakes. But what have you guys been talking about in terms of maybe, uh, you know, making sure that you limit those as much as possible? Yeah, it's the beginning of the season, so we're just trying to win every pitch, every pitch of every inning. We've got to stay focused. We've been really working on just staying focused uh, the entire game and not having any lapses mentally. And in terms of uh, the offseason work you guys had, uh, you know, we say the defense wins championships, of course, but also, you know, you got to put some runs up there on the board. What have you guys been discussing about your approach at the plate? Uh, well, we've been trying to get better quality approaches at the plate, and I think our last scrimmage we did, uh, our first couple scrimmages, our approaches at the plate weren't that great, but, you know, that's what the preseason's for. So we worked on that, and I think uh, overall for some sophomores in their batting, I think uh, our approach has been pretty good. I think we're starting to settle in and get comfortable with each other. All right, well, thank you so much for your time, Coach. Good luck to the Warriors. Thank you. Head Coach Brian Connolly for the Carrollton Warriors and brought to you by the Cush Financial Group. Stick around because we're going to wrap up your Wood Electric pregame show and get to the evening's first pitch. PAC Drilling, a family-owned and operated company since 2005 in Bolivar, takes pride in being an economic oil and gas drilling company. PAC's objective is to contribute to American energy independence through profitable development, operation, and marketing of oil and natural gas wells. PAC also employs operating technicians to oversee each and every well drilled to maximize its productivity and longevity. Contact PAC Drilling at packdrilling.com. Paul Palace Boarding and Grooming in Carrollton offers all the services to keep your pup feeling and looking its best. Paul Palace offers full grooming, de-shed, flea and tick baths, medicated baths, nail trim, teeth and ear cleaning, and even doggy nail polish. Plus, Paul Palace offers their temperature-controlled boarding services with four exercise yards and outside runs and complimentary doggy snuggles. See all they offer by finding Paul Palace Boarding and Grooming on Facebook. Paul Palace Boarding and Grooming, a proud supporter of high school athletics. At Huebner Chevrolet in Carrollton, we're focused 100% on delivering each and every customer an amazing experience. And it's actually very simple. We have a huge selection of inventory, and it's always priced to move. Need proof? We've saved our customers an average of $2,400 off KBB retail value over the past year. That's $2,400 per customer. Stop in today or visit us online at drivehubner.com. Finding your perfect vehicle can be frustrating. The selection process, working out a deal, the pushy salespeople. Well, Sarsha and Ford of Waynesburg takes away all of those frustrations by offering transparent pricing, a large new and pre-owned inventory, and salespeople that you'll consider a friend by the time your sale is complete. Sarsha and Ford of Waynesburg is proud to have won the Ford President's Award three consecutive years based solely on that customer satisfaction. And you can see the difference at 300 West Lisbon Street in Waynesburg or at sarshanofwaynesburg.com, where community and customers always come first. It's almost baseball time from Carrollton as Big Z Sports bringing you our first spring broadcast this year. The Carrollton Warriors play and host to the Garraway Pirates. And welcome back into your Wood Electric pregame show. We're going to run through your starting lineups brought to you by Wendy's. And Stump, if you don't mind, why don't you start with the visiting Pirates? For head coach Justin Elmore leading off and playing right field, Ethan Kimball batting second. Number 10 playing center field, Gabe Amicone. Batting third, number seven, playing short, Peyton Keller. Batting fourth, Zach Misko, playing first base, number 44. Next up, Jackson Reifenschneider, pitching tonight. Next up, number 23, and playing second base, Blake Herman, number six, and playing third base, Jesse Beachy. 
number 14, Aiden Miller pitching. And finally, in the ninth position, number nine himself, Blaine Schlabel. Thank you for that as we will now move on to Carrollton's starting lineup brought to you by Wendy's. Leading things off will be their center fielder, number nine, it's Garrett Broadwater. Then the pitcher on the mound, number seven, it will be Hayden Jenkins. In the three spot, number 10, and playing third base is Jake Whitmore. Number two, in the power spot, it's Landon James. He will be your catcher for the Warriors. Then the DH, number 27 in the five hole, it is Cooper Hahn. As for your center fielder, number 21, it's Isaac Husted. Pardon me, left fielder, rather. As for <laughs> your first baseman, it will be Hunter Allison, number 14. Aiden McCourt will be playing second base. He wears number 15, and he bats eighth. As for the ninth spot, it is their shortstop, number 11, Isaiah McConnell. And your right fielder will be Tyler Bowman. He wears number 26. Stump, Garraway still out there uh, getting ready to go here in your pregame warm-ups and everything. Could not ask for a better day, but you see the wind blowing from right to left, uh, mostly coming in. I don't imagine we're going to see any balls necessarily getting out down the left field line, given how strong that wind's been at some points, but you never know. Well, it's always fun, this, especially this time of the year. You really never know what to expect opening day of your team. You know, the weather up to this point has not been really favorable for any of these baseball and softball teams around northeast Ohio. So you've been in the gym a lot. You've been, you know, outside of every little chance you got going. But like you said, we got one nice day today. And you can just tell the excitement's there. And, and I think it's a good chance for both coaches to see really what they have to deal with at the beginning of their season. Well, I think both these coaches are happy this game wasn't played on Saturday, maybe, because I don't know <laughs> if we would have gotten it in if that would have been the case. But regardless, we're just a little bit ways away from your first pitch here this evening as Garraway's still out there warming up. Carrollton's already taken the field. When we come back, we will be getting to your night's first pitch, brought to you by Buckeye Career Center. BZ Sports is back after this. When you're traveling to the game, there's a great way to see your directional map on a new radio from Cartoons in New Philly. Just plug in your phone, and all your maps and apps and Bluetooth devices are right on your radio. Cartoons carries a wide selection of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto radios from all of the name brands. From 7-inch screen radios to 10-inch screen radios, Cartoons has you covered. Stop in and see them on display and let Cartoons give you a demonstration. Cartoons, 517 West High Avenue in New Philly. Be there. Reduce your energy costs and get rebates up to $400? Thad here for TMK Valley Propane. The Ohio Propane Council offers Ohio residents rebates for installing new propane water heaters and furnaces. Heck, even licensed installers can receive incentives for installation. Visit OhioPropaneRebates.com. This public service announcement is brought to you by your friends at TMK Valley Propane. All the way with TMK, service with a personal touch. In the rolling hills of Holmes County, we tend to do things a bit differently. At Kime, we're in the business of uncommon experiences, and we're here to care for your project like we care for our own. We believe that quality matters and want to help you get it right the first time because your project deserves it. So visit Kime Home Center, your source and destination for all things home, building, and woodworking. Kime, built on trust since 1911. Hi, this is Jan McInturf. The past 30 years, the residents in and around the Tuscarawas County have made the call to the Realtors and staff of McInturf Realty for buying and selling their residential and commercial properties. We truly live in a great community, and in all of those communities, there is nothing better than high school sports. For myself and all the agents and staff at McInturf Realty, we would like to wish all the area athletes good luck this season. And make the call to McInturf Realty, 330-364-SOLD. Or find us online at McInturfRealty.net. Do you hunt, fish, sew, or have a hobby that you would like to share with someone? Hi, this is Noah Sug with Brig Brothers Big Sisters, and we are faced with our biggest commitment in matching 56 littles with bigs. We will match a little with you that shares the same interests and enjoys the same things, so you can do what you enjoy and change the life of a little at the same time. To learn more, we ask you call 339-6916 or visit bigs4kids.com slash volunteer. Thank you. If you're planning a major concrete project, you need the help of Stocker Concrete Company. From precast concrete products to ready mix concrete, sand, gravel, limestone, and concrete block, the professionals at Stocker Concrete can help you get started and keep you on the path to completion using the best materials you can find. Stocker Concrete is the concrete material provider you can count on. 
See them at 7574 Route 36, Janaden Hutton, or call 740-254-4626. Dumont Sporting Goods in Dover and Canton has just what you're looking for, so your athlete has the best gear for the sports they play. Dumont's has a large apparel selection and can handle your customized screen printing as well as embroidery for your team or business. For sporting goods and for all your apparel needs, Dumont Sporting Goods in Dover and Canton has everything you want to play and look your best. I'm Zach Motice with the Tuscross Insurance Agency. For all your auto, home, farm, and business insurance needs, contact our team at the Tuscross Insurance Agency. Or stop in and see us at one of our three locations in downtown New Philadelphia, Sugar Creek, or in Strasburg. Providing excellent service to the Tuscross Valley since 1885. Everyone here at the Tuscross Insurance Agency would like to wish all area athletes good luck this season. Welcome back into your Wood Electric pregame show as Big Z Sports getting ready for some high school baseball. Garrel Hay visiting Carrollton. I combined those two. I didn't. I, I, that's going to be something new that's probably hey, going to happen. It's our throughout. first baseball game, too, in the season. It certainly is. As we're awaiting tonight's first pitch, brought to you by Buckeye Career Center. Both teams now being introduced. We'll run through the names then again, real quickly. Brought to you by Wendy's uh, Stump. You've got Garraways. Again, Lee Knopf, Ethan Kimball, followed by Gabe Amicone. Next up, Peyton Keller, Zach Misko, Jack Reifenschneider, followed by Blake Herman, Jesse Beachy, Aiden Miller, and batting last is Blaine Schleyball. Thank you for that, Aaron. As we for your home Carrollton Warriors, you've got Garrett Broadwater in the leadoff spot, Hayden Jenkins in the two-hole. The number three man will be Jake Whitmore, and the power spot is Landon James. Cooper Hahn bats fifth. Isaac Husted batting out of the sixth hole, while Hunter Allison will be slotted in at seven. Aiden McCourt is eighth. Isaiah McConnell at nine. And playing right field will be Tyler Ballman. As Carrollton is being introduced here, Garraway already out on the first baseline. How much, uh, how much nerves do you think go into this right now, Stump, going out on the field for the first time this year? It feels like, it feels like forever since the last time we were on a diamond. Like we talked earlier, I can't believe there's been a lot of game-type situations on the field uh, yet in practice yet. Uh, again, everything you've done has been uh, in a much colder environment. So today's been a nice gift from Mother Nature. So I would imagine, again, you want to see what these opposing pitchers have. You kind of want to see how your swing really feels. You kind of want to get out in the field, take those grounders. And, uh, again, I'm sure these coaches, more than anybody, have the nerves just kind of seeing what they have out there. Well, certainly do, as we are going to be having our national anthem here shortly. And if you have not done so, be sure to subscribe to the Big Z Sports YouTube channel to get notified every single time we go live. We have a whole host of games that are going to be featured throughout this entire spring season, including some track later on this year, which we'll be getting to later on. More softball to come, baseball as well. As we will go ahead and step aside now for our national anthem, baseball is on the way with Big Z Sports. Hey homeowners, are you ready to give your home a spring makeover? The Wayne Door Annual Spring Sale is happening April 1st through the 6th. Get ready to save big on garage doors, entry doors, windows, and more. It's the perfect time to enhance your curb appeal and security without breaking the bank. Visit our Dover and Cambridge showrooms to work with our team of experts. Let's make that spring dream a reality. And don't forget, for every $500 spent, enter for a chance to win one of three amazing prizes. Visit waynedoor.com for more details, and we'll see you April 1st through the 6th for the Wayne Door Annual Spring Sale. Wood Electric has been trusted with all of your electrical needs for over 30 years. They are the place to call for residential, commercial, and industrial work. Wood Electric is available 24 hours a day and ready to help with any electrical problem, outage, or installation. Wood Electric, serving Tuscarawas County and beyond since 1988. Like Wood Electric on Facebook or find them online at woodelectric.net. Cush Financial Group has been proudly serving the financial needs of local community members for over 35 years. The team at Cush Financial follows an industry-leading service model with the unique approach and fiduciary responsibilities associated with their board-certified financial planner. With over 75 years of combined experience, the advisors at Cush Financial Group are here to help you achieve your financial goals. Contact the office at 330-308-8700 or visit cushfinancial.com to schedule your free consultation today. Securities and investment advisory services offered through Independent Capital Company Incorporated, member FINRA, SIPC. 
Find your path to success at Buckeye Career Center. Buckeye students earned over 3,000 industry-recognized credentials this past school year, and over 130 students participated in our school-to-work program or an internship at a local business. Let us help you get a jump start on your future in a career of landscaping and turf management, pharmacy technician, HVACR, CAD development and design, or any of our over 30 programs. Enroll today for next school year by visiting BuckeyeCareerCenter.org. Big Z Sports back for some high school baseball. Today's presentation brought to you by the Tuscarawas Insurance Agency. And Stump, you know, I was noticing with the uh, home warriors, kind of almost have the reverse Yankees look, except <laughs> if it's uh, you replace the navy blue with the black like they have. If it's the white pinstripes on the black, I kind of like it. You know, it's funny you say that when I first got here to the field. I did the say I did a double take, and I'm like, yeah, man, those those are sharp-looking unis, man. And almost on the other side of the thing, uh, the old uh, Cleveland baseball <laughs> uniforms in the mid, mid to late 70s, it kind of looks like. A little throwback game here. Yeah. I wonder how many people actually get the reference I'm going with with that. I hope they do. <laughs> anyway, it will be Carrollton on defense first, of course, as the home team. And on the bump for them will be Hayden Jenkins. It's a guy that we saw a lot last season. We saw him against Indian Valley in the districts. And uh, he's a guy who can go uh, deep into the game. He's got a lot of great stuff, a lot of great location. You could probably get him deep into this game. So for the other side, for the Pirates, especially in the opening day, you're going to want to make him work early. You know, you're going to want to make him try to earn that zone. Yeah, good. He uh, he looks really confident on that mound right now. And the big thing too, he's a left-hander. Mm -hmm. and, and again, you don't have too many left-handers, you know, starting, you know, opening day. So that's going to take a little adjustment by Garraway as well. But uh, like I said, uh, both teams re ready to go, and uh, you make your adjustments. The game goes on, and, and try to make him go deep and long. Absolutely, as we are going to be. Getting the game underway, of course, we have our uh, more updates going on for what's happening in uh, high school sports on the Big Z Sports Facebook page. Check us out on all of our social media platforms as well. But plenty of updates going on throughout baseball, softball, track. I don't know. how. What other can we add on there with uh, all the different seasons <laughs> going on as well? Uh, big thank you to everybody who, of course, is, uh, continues to support Big Z Sports and high school sports in Z Country. You know, we do it all for these kids, and I know that we have a great time doing it, that's for sure, as leading things off for Garraway is going to be their right fielder and Ethan Kimball. He's going to step into the right-handed batter's box. Today's first pitch, of course, brought to you by Buckeye Career Center as Jenkins is going to tow the rubber, and baseball season's almost upon us. You know, again, big props to Carrollton School District here. This field, what we the end of March right now, and this field looks gorgeous. They did a, a great job getting ready for today's game. Certainly does, as Jenkins ready and delivers. And the first pitch of the year is going to be ball one outside. You believe in omens, Nick? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I always wanted that first pitch. I think it's always a strike. That first pitch is always a strike. <laughs> well, you know, with that thought process, you know, if you're stepping in there and you are Kimball as he watches ball two too low, if you're Kimball, you know, maybe even to start a year on a hot streak, I would have gotten yelled at by a coach. But if I swing at the first pitch, like, hey, it might be right down the pipe. As Jenkins will be ready. Next delivery is going to be too tight, maybe a little high. So Kimball's worked it to a 3-0 count early. Again, like you talked earlier, you wonder if kind of the nerves are kind of taken in there right now, just getting that first strike over the plate and uh, see where it goes. Next one, that one's going to be right down Broadway, strike one. Kimball, the right fielder for today's game for Garraway. Coming into the matchup, you know, as I talked about with uh, head coach Elmore as uh, the it's an opening walk to start the game. As I talked with him before we got started here, if you heard in the pregame interviews, you know, this is a very veteran team that is presented here that the Pirates do have last season returning so many of those key contributors. <laughs> hey, by, Don't mind me. By, say, by, by the way, Nick's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nick uh, Nick decided to end basketball season in his own glorious fashion, and you might hear a few grunts if he don't, uh, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. Knocks an ankle. <laughs> Everything's fine as it was. <laughs> At 1 0 count now to the center fielder for the Pirates in Gabe Amacone. As a pickoff from Jenkins, nice move, but it is going to be safe at first as getting back quickly was Kimball. Kind of had Kimball frozen there for a second. Yeah, that was actually a lot closer than I think uh, Coach Justin L Elmore was comfortable with right now. And again, he had a nice pickoff move again, being a lefty's big advantage with that as well. And McCone stands in again. He'll watch the next one. Too far inside. It's 
As I kind of mentioned early on there, you know, you want to make Jenkins try to work early, and they've done so so far. Last season for Amicone, batted 273. Next pitch is going to be fouled away straight back for Amicone. Moves the count to two and one. Hopefully nobody parked behind the press box here. About uh, six feet lower, Nick. You had a, a ball right there. <laughs> tell you, Gabe uh, finished the basketball season nice and strong. Uh, had an injury uh, in football season. Took him out about, what, first half, I think, uh, so I think it was season. about half. And, uh, came back, played a really strong second half of basketball, and Good to see him out here his senior year. Jenkins delivers, swung on and missed by Amicone, who was behind the high heater. It now moves to an even two and two. Once again, that one pickoff move from Jenkins with Kimball there at first base, he actually started going back to first as Jenkins delivered. <laughs> L. It's with, it's with the lefty, man. It's sometimes hard to do. And once Jenkins, like I said, got that first pitch over, he's he's been uh, – Looking a lot better here. It's a little bit more confidence. And McCone puts a charge into one left field. It's going to be about medium depth, though, and it's going to hang up there long enough to get under it. it is Houston to put it away for out number one. So stepping to the plate now will be the shortstop for the Pirates in Peyton Keller. Kimball stays over at first. Again, how nice of it for these players, again, to be able to hit a ball and not have to worry about their hands shattering because it's about 30 <laughs> degrees outside right yeah, now. Give it, so. give it the games a little bit later on in the week. It might be a different story. <laughs> <laughs> Jenkins ready again. His opening offer to Keller is going to be a curveball strike one that just broke in on that back foot of Keller. Tell you, last year I thought we were the jinx uh, with games last year. It seemed like every game we were at uh, is either snowing, sleeting, or hailing. Or... Well, that's because we have a roof over our head for this <laughs> one, so we, could, we weren't going to get the bad weather for that. Next delivery is too high. There's the throw down on the steal, and out by a mile is going to be Kimball as a nice throw down that time for James as he caught Kimball dead to rights. Like I said, Landon James, great pop up there, perfect placement, and uh, again, nice throw to second base. Didn't even have to move his glove, easy tag out. So I believe it's a 1-1 count to Keller. Jenkins ready again. His next delivery. Right on the outside corner, strike two to Keller. Jenkins one out away, one strike away now from putting an early end to the first inning. Yeah, Jenkins done a nice job. It was a little wild here the first couple batters, but, man, he is zoned right in. His delivery. Swung on, and there's a line drive <laughs> over the second baseman's head, and that's a great piece of hitting from Keller, who goes with it high and outside and pokes it over the second baseman. <laughs> Aiden McCourt, you can see, he said, oh, come on, come on, get down here, get down here, just out of the reach of his glove there at second base. Well, Aiden's wishing he was about four inches taller or he <laughs> might have had that. So one on, two go two outs as stepping into the plate. It's the power spot, the first baseman, Zach Misko for the Pirates. Couple of looks over from Jenkins before he delivers. That's going to be a pass ball past James as the breaking ball went just a little bit too far inside. He couldn't slide over in front of it, so that'll be a pass ball, and Keller moves into scoring position easily. Again, big opportunity right here for the Pirates. Guy on second, two outs. That first run just seems so important in these high school games. It will be Misko. Settling back in, Jenkins looks the runner back at second and will deliver. That one's right down the middle, right at the knees for strike one. Jenkins looking to strand the runner in scoring position as his next delivery is swung on, and there's a little tapper towards first base. Took, takes a weird hop, but it is handled over there for out number three. It will be the Warriors at the plate, bottom of the first, with Big Z Sports after this. Wendy's new breakfast two for $3 Biggie Bundles let you create your own delicious combo. Choose from a sausage biscuit, egg and cheese biscuit, small seasoned potatoes, and a medium hot coffee. But it's obvious which combo's the best. Sausage biscuit and small seasoned potatoes. 
Well, maybe it's the fresh cracked egg and cheese biscuit with a medium hot coffee. Or two savory sausage biscuits. Yeah, uh, whichever you pick, you can't go wrong. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new two for $3 biggie bundles. Limited time only. U.S. price of participation may vary. Not valid in a combo. Single item at regular price. Live more comfortably this winter with the help of Unified Insulation Systems. Unified Insulation Systems is a full service insulation and weatherization provider that can show you how to properly insulate your home or business. With good insulation from Unified Systems, you can prevent your gutters from freezing and get rid of your high energy bills. Call Jeremiah Thomas today for your free quote at 330-773-7377 or visit unifiedinsulation.com. Call Unified Insulation Systems today, your most trusted name in insulation. Welcome back into today's presentation brought to you by the Tuscarawas Insurance Agency. The Carrollton Warriors are playing host to the Garraway Pirates as we go to the bottom of one, Carrollton. Stepping up to the plate is a good first inning of work there by Jenkins. Did give up the one base hit, and he also gave up the walk with just one left on base. So overall, a very good start to the season. Starting on the bump for the Pirates in this contest, it will be Aiden Miller as he will be facing a Carrollton offense that we saw at times last year stump that could really put a hurting on your starting pitching. Yeah, they uh, they are solid. Like I said, they got a lot of returners from last year right now, and that's, that's actually one of their strengths right now. So, again, good, solid team. Uh, kind of interesting to see if they can put it together for a game today. Certainly will be as leading things off for Carrollton is going to be their center fielder in Garrett Broadwater. I can't help but but laugh about your comment about the pinstripes. They really It's, they the, really it's do. the reverse New York they Yankees. Are. Yes, they the look, white pinstripes. They look good. So it will be Broadwater, the lefty to stand in against the righty of Miller for or pardon me, lefty of Par uh, Miller for Garraway. Two lefties on the bump. See, that's well, the lefty-lefty matchup, they always say normally you want to give the advantage to the pitcher there as the first pitch is going to go low and outside. Nice block behind the dish by Reifenschneider. They're going to tell him, I'm sure, from the dugout, hey, good block back there. Just please do that <laughs> when there's a runner on next time, too. <laughs> you can let that one go. That's, that's okay. <laughs> There's going to be a grounder up the middle, and Broadwater goes down, and the play is not going to be able to be made as they are going to throw over now to first, and Broadwater not sure if he got his ankle twisted up or fouled it off of himself, but regardless, it will be out number one. Unfortunate there, Stump. Yeah, that's the last thing you want to see. You got first at bat, first game, and uh, he's in a lot of pain right now. So, like I said, I couldn't tell if he twisted an ankle coming out. Seems a little little more severe than just the hit in the ankle. Certainly would so be. I wonder some. if he uh, threw his follow through, just planted the foot, and it did is, some damage. It is possible, as it will be Hayden Jenkins, who will now step in in the two spot. Miller will wind and fire too far inside, nearly catching Jenkins <laughs> on the jersey. That jersey was any baggier. Uh, it might have gotten him. <laughs> well, you hear his dugout saying, wear it next time, seven. <laughs> next one for Miller. That's going to be a charge put into that from Jenkins, but he got well under it as the center fielder, Amicone, easily glides over for it for a quick out number two. Like I said earlier, got a, got a decent uh, chunk of it. Uh, that went just blowing straight in, just killed it. So the third baseman, Jake Whitmore, will stand in. We finally see another right-handed batter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you uh, you want to put one out tonight, you have to put a charge into it. Looks like the left field and right field uh, go 340 and dead center 370. So good luck today. Whitmore watches strike one straight down the pipe from Miller. Nobody on with two gone here. Miller making quick work as his next delivery is going to be a little bloop job there, and it might fall in no man's land. It sure enough will hit him where they ain't as Whitmore <laughs> gets the single there to keep the inning alive. You know, it looks like uh, head coach Conley's uh, plan kind of jump on him a little bit early. They have not been very patient. We've seen a lot of aggressive hitters up there and, uh, again, making a lot of contact, and that one finding the uh, short right center field. Number two playing the number two hole in the field is Landon James, the catcher standing up at the plate. 
Miller watches the runner at first and will deliver. First one, healthy cut from James, but he gets under it, fouls it straight back. You know, one of the interesting things when you go from a uh, seems like crowded uh, basketball gyms every game we do and the noise, <laughs> and, and this one's just uh, baseball season, just a much more relaxed atmosphere, but got a great crowd today. There was one that sawed Miller or James off on the hands as he fights it away and fouls it off. It will be an 0-2 count. Yeah, Going back to what you said about the cold temperatures, that's the one that James is thankful oh. it's about 60 <laughs> out now for. They'll still tickle, but uh, <laughs> not nearly to the extent. Miller ready. His 0-2. Inside as James pulls the front shoulder in out of the way. Moves the count to 1-2. and two. Tell you what, Aiden with the good pitch there again. Uh, didn't give him much to hit when you're ahead of the count. Uh, don't give him the old meatball down the middle. Miller's 1-2 delivery, cut on and fouled straight back again from James. As Blue's going to ask if we've got any other baseballs lying around here. I feel like Carrollton's made a lot of contact uh, with these uh, balls, but again, nothing really solid. Uh, Aiden doing a good job keeping them off balance right now and, uh, again, spraying them all over the place, just not between the lines. James back in. Miller goes set. The one, two. High and outside. I think he tried to go with the off speed, but couldn't quite get it to bite. So we're even at twos. Again, Landon doing a good job laying off that one. You could almost kind of, almost wanted that one. You saw him itching to get it. That's also the pitch for Miller that you do not want to hang. And that one almost, <laughs> almost stayed up there. There's going to be a throw over from Miller. As scrambling back will be Whitmore. Yeah, that's the pitch that they're going to say. That's the one that they tell you, if you're going to miss, miss low. <laughs> 2-2 Two -two delivery. Swung on, and that one's fisted off of his hands as it's going to go under the second baseman's glove and roll all the way to right. So it will be an error in the four spot there to keep the inning alive, as I think it was Blake Herman who just kind of pulled up too quickly on it. Yeah, we talked a little bit earlier. Again, it's your first game. You're on that natural surface. So, again, that was a, a quick roller all the way to second base. And in the back of your mind, you know, it's, it's man, is this thing going to pop up? Especially when you've been playing in the gym a lot. You've been playing on artificial turf. And uh, I think it does play in the back of your mind. He popped up just a little bit. Cooper Hahn stands in and watches strike one right down the middle. Hahn with a prime opportunity here with two gone. Bottom of the first, two runners on, one in scoring position. Put, Gar or put Carrollton up early. Miller delivers too high. Good hold by Hahn. That one sometimes looks like the most tempting pitch to go after. Again, the Warriors a good, solid uh, batting team. Gotten a lot of bats on balls right now, and those are the types of plays you got to make and uh, not giving them any extra bats. High and outside as Jackson Reifenschneider, the Pirates catcher, wants a little conversation with Miller there, probably get him back into gear. Not the most brief catcher-pitcher <laughs> meeting I've seen in a long time. Probably said, let's just go after him here. Miller ready again. He'll deliver. High and outside again. 3-1 to Hahn. Great hitters count. That's yeah, a nice luxury to have uh, Jackson Reif and Schneider behind the plate there. Again, senior leadership right there, kind of keeping everybody calm and kind of the quarterback for your baseball team back there. So, again, nice, uh, nice luxury to have. Miller's 3-1 delivery, too high outside. Bases are going to be juiced. As coming to the plate will be the left fielder in Houston. Houston here going to try to find anything in terms of green grass, maybe a gap out there would likely score too. And give the Warriors a nice early lead. Miller, his first delivery, too high again. Sometimes the rule of thumb with that stump is if you're missing high consistently, you're probably trying to overthrow, trying to put a little bit too much in it. 
or just trying to uh, aim your pitches rather than just letting them fly. Next one for Miller. That one's a little better. There you go. Yeah, when when he's missing, he's definitely missing uh, almost the same spot high every time. Uh, and like I said, I, th I think you're absolutely right. And got a nice job bearing down on that pitch and uh, throwing a good pitch. Swung on, fouled straight back towards us as Houston falls behind one two. Miller could work himself out of quite the jam here. If he finds strike three. Yeah, we'll see what Isaac can do here. Garraway again had the guy on second, two outs, and uh, did not get the play across. And Swung on, popped up, right side. It's going to drift out of play, and we'll do it again. Again, see if Carrollton can take uh, advantage of their bases loaded, two outs. Only about a 1,000 different things on the mind of Miller as he's walking <laughs> back to the mound right now. For Houston, though, behind one, two in the count. Wouldn't be a bad pitch to try that backdoor breaking ball again. And sure nice enough, sw strike three called as Miller works his way out of quite the jam. We go on to the top of the second. No score here from Carrollton. At Kaufman Realty and Auctions, you've got options. Your property is unique and our agents know how to sell it. Whether it's a traditional listing or live auction, we'll earn you top dollar. Our agents will utilize whichever method of sale works best. When buying or selling your next home, call on Kaufman. PAC Drilling, a family-owned and operated company since 2005 in Bolivar, takes pride in being an economic oil and gas drilling company. PAC's objective is to contribute to American energy independence through profitable development, operation, and marketing of oil and natural gas wells. PAC also employs operating technicians to oversee each and every well drilled to maximize its productivity and longevity. Contact PAC Drilling at packdrilling.com. Back in to Carrollton High School as Big Z Sports bringing you some early season baseball. Top of the second inning It is the Carrollton Warriors hosting the Garraway Pirates. Today's presenting sponsor, the Tuscarawas Insurance Agency. Thanks to all of them for today's broadcast. So happy to get this spring season started as we are in the top of the second. It will be... Jackson Reifenschneider to lead things off for the Pirates in the five spot. Number six, it will be Blake Herman. Or, sorry, in the six hole is Blake Herman. He's number 23. He'll be the second up. And it will be Jesse Beachy, the third baseman. Those are the three you are guaranteed to see this inning. Jenkins yeah. going to go back to work after a relatively quick bottom or top of the first. Quick inning, almost two different styles. You saw Garraway kind of sitting back, uh, trying to force uh, – Carrollton throw a lot of pitches uh, in the first inning. And on the, the other side of it, Carrollton got on there and tried to jump on their pitching uh, as fast as they could. Made a lot of contact, a lot of foul balls, and uh, just wasn't able to get anybody across home plate. Jenkins' first delivery swung on and missed by Reifenschneider. It looked like Jenkins went low and away. Reifenschneider just tried to poke that down the first baseline. Couldn't catch up to it. Next delivery, high and away. Reifenschneider holds the hands back. You know, uh, the hard thing for a lot of these kids, you know, a lot of these kids are multi-sport athletes, which is absolutely fabulous. But they haven't had much practice time. You know, you've had the basketball playoffs. Uh, you know, so they've only had, you know, a few weeks of practice where some of these kids, you know, who've only played baseball or maybe just played football and now played baseball have had several weeks of practice and conditioning. Swung on and missed for Reifenschneider. He falls behind one and two. Jenkins, next delivery. Inside corner, just couldn't quite find it. Maybe a bit low. It goes to two and two. Tell you, we have the luxury today of sitting right behind home plate, and uh, this umpire has done a really nice job of having a consistent strike zone to this point. All in the name of consistency. That's all you want to see, and you want to establish it early if you're on the field as Reifenschneider puts a charge into that one straightaway center, drifting in and making the catch out there in center for out number one, and to, truth be told, I could not tell jogging out there uh, who it was necessarily, Stump, if it was Broadwater, as I believe 
It was Isaac Houston. I tell you what, Reifen Schneider put a nice, like I said, nice charge into that one. That that wind just knocked it right down. So it's Houston now in center. Swung on and missed. As it's Blake Herman at the plate. So Houston slides over there. Stump after Broadwater went down after that ground ball. You, you really hate to see this, especially the first at bat of the season. Yeah, don't uh, don't really know what happened, but he looked like he was in a lot of pain uh, coming off the field. And, uh, yeah, you, your heart just bleeds for, for kids who really put a lot into this game and for your first at bat during the regular season. To have that happen is just unfortunate. Swung on and missed as Jenkins getting that low and away working well. Herman's behind one and two. So we'll have a update for you for the Carrollton alignment on defense. Jenkins, that one somehow <laughs> fouled off by Herman. That was about an inch <laughs> off of his hands. That was off the handle. <laughs> so it appears as... Um, out in left field now for the Warriors will be Brandon Marshall. So he slots in, takes over for Houston, who slides over to center. Next delivery from Jenkins, too far away. Jenkins ready for his 2-2. Just misses high and outside, so we push it to full. Great at bat by Herman, battling back. He's had great patience there, just off the plate, just a little high, and uh, great patience there and great discipline. Payoff pitch for this at bat. High and outside, great at bat there for Herman, who gives a one-out base runner in the top of the second for the Pirates. Tell you what, Nick, really impressed with actually both teams' uh, discipline right now. You'd think, again, a lot of those nerves be a little jittery up there, really anxious to swing the bat right up there, but both teams have really uh, demonstrated really good patience and uh, good eyes at the plate. Next up to the plate for Garraway, third baseman Jesse Beachy. He'll watch the first one on the outside corner. Jenkins paints it perfectly. Looking the runner back at first. He'll deliver. Swung on. Popped straight over our heads. Beachy falls behind 0-2. Not sure how far Herman's going to get a lead off from first. We've seen Jenkins <laughs> make the move over there a couple times. Jenkins delivers. Swung on and missed. Strike three for Beachy, who sat down on three pitches. Big out number two, as it will be Aiden Miller to step in the plate for Garraway. Again, always a nice thing. Uh, Hayden Jenkins uh, walking uh, the uh, batter, uh, Blake Herman, there ago, and again comes back with three straight pitches. Nice strikeout, gets the second out. There's going to be a pickoff attempt at first, close <laughs> that time as Herman just gets the arm back inside. He's making the outfield umpire work, that's, that's for sure. <laughs> Saw over there at third base, Jake Whitmore jumped up in the air and had the arm pumped in the sky. He thought he got him. Of course, of course he thought he got him, though. <laughs> Jenkins delivers to Miller, and it's a strike. Tell you what. We've had some umpires before Stump that we've had that we've uh, hadn't been able to tell what the call is, whether or not he may, he leaves no <laughs> doubt. That's a positive. That's that's a thing of beauty when you're a radio broadcaster. That one is going to be inside outed as Miller dribbles it on to third. Whitmore delivers across the diamond for out number three. On to the bottom of the second. Still no score here from Carrollton. The Warriors will be stepping up to the plate. It will be 7-8-9 coming up for the home team with Big Z Sports. 
Paw Palace Boarding and Grooming in Carrollton offers all the services to keep your pup feeling and looking its best. Paw Palace offers full grooming, de-shed, flea and tick baths, medicated baths, nail trim, teeth and ear cleaning, and even doggy nail polish. Plus, Paw Palace offers their temperature-controlled boarding services with four exercise yards and outside runs and complimentary doggy snuggles. See all they offer by finding Paw Palace Boarding and Grooming on Facebook. Paw Palace Boarding and Grooming, a proud supporter of high school athletics. At Huebner Chevrolet in Carrollton, we're focused 100% on delivering each and every customer an amazing experience. And it's actually very simple. We have a huge selection of inventory, and it's always priced to move. Need proof? We've saved our customers an average of $2,400 off KBB retail value over the past year. That's $2,400 per customer. Stop in today or visit us online at drivehubner.com. Welcome back into Carrollton. Today's presenting sponsor, the Tuscarawas Insurance Agency. Thank you so much to them for bringing you high school baseball in Z country. Still no score on to the bottom of the second. Coming up, it will be Hunter Allison, the first baseman for the Warriors. And they got to be feeling good so far through the first two innings on defense anyway for Carrollton as Jenkins rolling early. Yeah, again, uh, he's he's struggled like, what about the first batter and uh, really uh, came in strong after that. Walked another uh, person the second uh, in in and took care of business with the next two batters. So he's he's had a strong game to this point. Certainly has. Is Allison looking to start of a? I was gonna say start a little rally here, but still no score up on the scoreboard. Wind still blowing in from left. We've seen a couple of these pop-ups that you thought might get a little bit more depth out there. Uh, certainly wasn't happening. Got held up in the air. Yeah, the out outfielder's not playing very deep to start with and uh, not having to backpedal at all. A couple charges put into those balls. Allison fouls the first one back off to the right. Miller. Goes to work quickly. Next one too far outside, about in the left-handed batter's box. Evens the count at one and one. Again, would like to give a special thanks to all our sponsors for this season and every season that we do. Again, this is this is great, getting a chance to go around high school baseball. And there's a base knock for Allison right over the second baseman's head. Heck, we saw that in the first inning from Garraway from Keller, almost <laughs> an identical hit. But it is a leadoff base runner for the Warriors. Aiden McCourt stepping to the plate, the second baseman. Of course, speaking of some of those sponsors, thanks to Wayne Dorr bringing you all your instant replays for today. Yeah, we're going to put this Claxton communication ta or, uh, team to the test today of some replays. And there was a drag bun attempt that time for McCourt, kind of a sacrifice maybe to try to put Allison in scoring position. He couldn't make contact. That is uh, one nice thing Carrollton has. Again, they got they got some power up and down their lineups right now, and their bottom of their lineup just, just does just as much damage as the top. And a comebacker's handled by Miller delivers on to second, on to first, and a one-four-three double play gets two quick outs for the Pirates. Tell you what, that's impressive opening day. Again, uh, does a really nice job. Uh, Turn around, throwing that to short, short to first. Uh, again, a really nice double play there by the Garraway Pirates. Miller ready. He'll deliver too high. Stepping in now is Isaiah McConnell, the second baseman, or pardon me, shortstop for Carrollton. Next one is strike two McConnell. Count draws even at one and one. Tell you, Aiden doing a nice job. Just caught the inside corner there. Delivery high, maybe a little bit tight too. Of course, also got to say a big thank you to Paul Palace Boarding and, Boarding and Grooming and Hubner Chevrolet for today's presentation. Next delivery from Miller, ball three. 
Yeah, again, uh, we really want to thank the sponsors. This is a lot of fun coming out here watching these kids. These kids, again, the, the value that we have in high school sports, and we've talked about it numerous times. Uh, but again, but allowing us to, to cover these kids and and uh, really showcase their talents. A strike up in the zone that time to McConnell. Count goes full. We'll have a payoff pitch upcoming. I think this is our first one of the day, isn't it? For an inning, absolutely it is. Whoa. Swung on and missed. <laughs> McConnell takes a healthy cut. Can't find contact. As Miller sets him down in order, almost, as we'll move <laughs> on to the top of the third inning. Still no score from Carrollton. Big Z Sports and Claxon Communications return after this. Finding your perfect vehicle can be frustrating. The selection process, working out a deal, the pushy salespeople. Well, Sarshon Ford of Leansburg takes away all of those frustrations by offering transparent pricing, a large new and pre-owned inventory, and salespeople that you'll consider a friend by the time your sale is complete. Sarshon Ford of Leansburg is proud to have won the Ford President's Award three consecutive years based solely on that customer satisfaction. And you can see the difference at 300 West Lisbon Street in Waynesburg or at sarshonofwaynesburg.com, where community and customers always come first. When you're traveling to the game, there's a great way to see your directional map on a new radio from Cartoons in New Philly. Just plug in your phone and all your maps and apps and Bluetooth devices are right on your radio. Cartoons carries a wide selection of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto radios from all of the name brands. From 7-inch screen radios to 10-inch screen radios, Cartoons has you covered. Stop in and see them on display and let Cartoons give you a demonstration. Cartoons, 517 West High Avenue in New Philly. Be there. Back to Carrollton High School. Big Z Sports bringing you high school baseball action. On to the top of the third. Still no score. It's a pitching duel so far as leading things off for Garraway is going to be their left fielder in Blaine Schlebaugh. Jenkins going to be looking to go back to work quickly. Yeah, he's had a couple solid uh, couple innings here. Looked, uh, he's he's going to be tough to get some hits off today. Jenkins will start the inning right down the middle to Schleyball, who watches strike one. Oh, one delivery is going to be just a bit too low. One and one as James scoops it out of the dirt. Wind's kind of shifted there, Stump. It was pushing to the right there. All of a sudden that changed. That could be an interesting little factor. It doesn't look like from the flagpole it's blowing that hard, but we've seen a couple balls just die going out to center field today. Of course, now I look out there and it's straight out now. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Schleyball falls behind 1-2 as Jenkins finds the zone again. His next delivery, he goes with the curveball or the off-speed, but it's high and away. The one thing Hayden Jenkins got going, I'm not sure how tall he is, but he's got a great stride. Delivery just a bit too low. Payoff pitch upcoming for Schleyball. Another good battle back for him. Jenkins, winds, and fires. Swung on and missed as that will be a punch out. Had to go the long way for it, but Jenkins gets his second strike out of the game. Back to the top of the order now for the Pirates. Ethan Kimball comes in. He drew a leadoff walk and then was caught stealing in the first. Yeah, I like to talk about earlier, Gar Garraway doing what it wants to do. It's it's making uh, Hayden throw a lot of pitches right now, and uh, he is up to the task, uh, knocking them down one at a time. Breaking ball cuts too far in, also too high. Jenkins' next delivery is a half-hearted swing there from Kimball, who check swings it foul off of his team's dugout. That's the one where you look over to your coach in the third base box and say, sorry, didn't want to do that. <laughs> That's if the third base coach is not already giving you the, the side <laughs> eye, like, what are you doing, kid? <laughs> I 
Jenkins catches the inside corner as Kimball shuffled the feet out of the way. A lot of bite from these pitches, as I kind of alluded to in the pregame stump. Yeah, and, and Jensen's doing nothing down the pipe. He's been all over that plate, which is a, a sign of a good, strong pitcher. Next delivery, swung on and missed. Actually, it was foul tipped and caught behind there by James. Second straight punch out now for Jenkins. Seems like we've gone deeper in this game. The stronger Hayden Jenkins has got well, or gotten stronger, I should say. Um, again, look, just looks like he is really in command right now, taking down the Pirates. Amacone stands in. He flew out to left his first time up, and he'll watch high and away, ball one. Nice crowd for both sides, for both Carrollton and Garraway for an opening day matchup. Yeah, bleachers uh, bleachers are pretty full. You got a, a little ridge on the left uh, field line where you got uh, a bunch of parents uh, watching some games. Of course, the nice thing is that everybody who can is out in the sun today. <laughs> a little sunbathing <laughs> enjoying going Enjoying <laughs> that. Get a little wind burn, get a little sunburn. I don't think anybody <laughs> will mind right now. The 2-0. Popped straight back, out of play for Amacone. Of course, if you have not done so, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified every single time we go live. Plenty more softball and baseball upcoming this spring season. Jenkins ready, delivers, and that's a hot shot right back up the middle off of the wrist of Jenkins, who will deliver on to first Conley, and he'll get Amacone. As a good job by Jenkins to hang with it. We'll move on to the bottom of the third inning. Warriors come up to the plate. Still no score from Carrollton. Reduce your energy costs and get rebates up to $400? Thad here for TMK Valley Propane. The Ohio Propane Council offers Ohio residents rebates for installing new propane water heaters and furnaces. Heck, even licensed installers can receive incentives for installation. Visit OhioPropaneRebates.com. This public service announcement is brought to you by your friends at TMK Valley Propane. All the way with TMK, service with a personal touch. In the rolling hills of Holmes County, we tend to do things a bit differently. At Kime, we're in the business of uncommon experiences, and we're here to care for your project like we care for our own. We believe that quality matters and want to help you get it right the first time because your project deserves it. So visit Kime Home Center, your source and destination for all things home, building, and woodworking. Kime, built on trust since 1911. Welcome back to Carrollton High School. Big Z Sports bringing you high school baseball. Bottom of the third inning, and going back to that previous play, good job by Jenkins off the mound there. Kind of a hot shot up the middle as he was able to eventually corral it, deliver on to first. Great work by Claxon Communications and great work by Wayne Dorr bringing you your instant replays all season long. As leading things off now, when we go back to the top of the order, it is going to be Brandon Marshall now who took over in left field there, uh, Stump. Yeah, I, uh, unfortunately having to make the, uh, the shift, I guess part of – High school sports, as well as any level of sports, again, always having to make those adjustments and the the next up attitude that must be taken uh, with every team uh, in sports. And do we have a change on the Garraway out in the field? I got an umpire over there in the dugout. Well, we're going to see what the conversation is. Information. You see, Coach Conley walking over there too from Carrollton. Oh, I think they were just making sure there that they uh, had their everyone had their lineup cards right with the substitution coming in now for Marshall, or I should say Marshall coming in as the substitution. All right, everybody ready to go now. Miller <laughs> <laughs> delivers high and tight to Marshall. Sometimes an interesting situation to be in for him. You know, he maybe thought come on late for a pinch hit opportunity or something along those lines. Instead, 
Has to get slotted into the game quickly as he watches strike one. Miller ready, delivers. That one's going to catch the inside corner as well. Marshall behind, one and two. Again, Aiden Miller doing a nice job. Looks like he's getting stronger as the game goes on as well. Miller, off-speed foul tip, and it is held on by Reifenschneider for a quick out number one. Uh, looks like Carrollton put up six batters in the first and uh, went down to three in the second. And uh, good old uh, Aiden Miller's got him one for one in the, the third inning right now. That's all about settling in, you know, maybe calmed himself after that first inning. Didn't really get knocked around, but did give up a little bit in terms of base runners and such. Gave up the single and the walk. Jenkins kind of faked the uh, late bun attempt there. Took ball number one. Miller. Delivers too high. Find himself ahead 2-0. -oh. Next delivery. Swung on. Foul tipped. Moves the count to 2-1. and one. That's three straight foul tips through what? <laughs> five, six pitches? <laughs> that one... Back up the middle, Jenkins is hustling down the first baseline. He's not going to get there in time. Take it back as Misko pulls his foot off the bag. So the play cannot be made. Good effort there from second base by Herman, who hustled over to it. That had some weird spin on it on the infield. <laughs> Jenkins reaches. Caught maybe just the end of the bat there. Like you said, it, it gets spinning, and he don't know what that ball's going to do. <laughs> so one gone. In the bottom of the third, Miller goes back to the mound. It's Whitmore who will stand in. He had a single in the first. First delivery. He's going to catch the zone, strike one. Whitmore made it all the way around to third in that first inning, but was ultimately left stranded after that punch out to end the inning by Miller. Yeah, Carrollton had bases loaded the first inning and wasn't able to get anybody across. Next one way inside and leaning out of the way is Whitmore. What's that to Bob Euchre? Just a bit inside. <laughs> <laughs> Just some quick feet there out of Whitmore. Miller looks back a few times to the runner at first, and he'll step off. A little stare down between both pitchers. I tell you what, this is still funny to me, Nick. You know, we just come in from inside, a great basketball season, the noise. <laughs> just amazing how <laughs> relaxed these atmospheres are. Jenkins on the move, and it is fouled back by Whitmore off the screen. Moving the count to one and two. Good, like I said, good crowd today. You know, just, just a different environment, baseball in general. and uh, well, you're, used, you're used to those uh, starting lineup moments for you, with the crowd yeah, rocking and I, you screaming, right? right? The music's nice and loud. The, the people are screaming. Uh, See, this is more my speed. We uh, <laughs> just came back from uh, Athens uh, doing some uh, regional work there. And, man, those crowds were great inside there. And just a whole different atmosphere, a whole different game, and uh, just a really enjoyable Day at the ballpark. Pickoff attempt from Miller wasn't going to work out as Jenkins was ready for it. Whitmore stands back in. 1-2. Miller delivers. Swung on. Foul tipped in. Caught again. I'll tell you, Reifenschneider, it's the second one of the inning catching the uh, foul tips. Again, not an easy thing to do. Great concentration, great focus, and uh, second out. See if Miller must have some uh, nice bite on some of these pitches if they're getting under them or just finding a piece of them. Or if you're the Carrollton batters, maybe still haven't quite locked it in yet in the zone. Next delivery from Miller was too high. James stands in. He reached on an error in the first. Again, hard to remember. This is really the first game action. You know, a couple of them have scrimmages, you know, but uh, – just haven't seen the live action. Jenkins will beat the throw down to second as it goes into center field, and he'll hold up there as Amicone arrives to handle it and hold him up there. 
Jenkins with another great break from first. Count is 2-0 for James, who's got a runner in scoring position for himself again. Tell you, nice throw by uh, Jackson Reifen Schneider down to second. Just uh, for, unfortunately wasn't able to come up with it. And that one skied to right. Camping under it now for Garraway and making the catch out there will be Kimball to end the third inning. On to the top of the fourth. Still no score. It will be the Pirates at the plate after this. Hi, this is Jan McInturf. The past 30 years, the residents in and around the Tuscarawas County have made the call to the realtors and staff of McInturf Realty for buying and selling their residential and commercial properties. We truly live in a great community, and in all of those communities, there is nothing better than high school sports. For myself and all the agents and staff at McInturf Realty, we would like to wish all the area athletes good luck this season. And make the call to McInturf Realty, 330-364-SOLD. Or find us online at McInturfRealty.net. Do you hunt, fish, sew, or have a hobby that you would like to share with someone? Hi, this is Noah Sug with Brig Brothers Big Sisters, and we are faced with our biggest commitment in matching 56 Littles with Bigs. We will match a little with you that shares the same interests and enjoys the same things, so you can do what you enjoy and change the life of a little at the same time. To learn more, we ask you call 339-6916 or visit bigs4kids.com slash volunteer. Thank you. Back to Carrollton High School. Today's presentation brought to you by the Tuscarawas Insurance Agency. We knew how to get Aaron Stump pumped up, a little Nirvana a little in between Nirvana. innings. There you go. All right, here we go. <laughs> Jenkins back on the bump for the Warriors, as it will be the three spot in Peyton Keller to lead things off for the fourth. Had a single, but then got doubled up on the next at batter for or next at bat from Misko. Funny thing is, he's got all, all us old fogies up here headbanging right now, and nobody under 20 even has ever heard of this song. So, uh. <laughs> well, I'm not under 20, but you know, I get <laughs> yeah, still in the 20s. That's, that's, like. that's, that's some good stuff right there. <laughs> uh, for Keller, my mistake, he actually advanced on a pass ball. Can't read my own writing, that's a problem. <laughs> so, it will be Keller stands in. Looking to deliver again with uh, from that that single that he drove over the second baseman's head. He won't do it on that pl that swing as he'll foul it back over the screen. <laughs> Keller right up against the right-handed batter's box, up against the chalk, standing in close. Jenkins, I think, tried to maybe go a little bit further in there to jam the hands of Keller. He's got him behind 0-2. Again, both times uh, Mr. Keller's been down in the counts right there, done a great job battling back. Next delivery too far inside, and Kimball squeezes out of the way. Once again, if you're one of these uh, teammates of these guys, you're saying, hey, next time, <laughs> fellas, just wear it. <laughs> a lot easier said than done. <laughs> Jenkins tries the outside corner, just misses by a couple inches. Man. Keller, good battle. Great pitch selection right there. Again, we talked about it earlier, the patience and discipline these batters have had. Both, both sides have done a great job today. Jenkins delivers, swung on. There's a high chopper to second and scooped off the short hop and delivered on to first for out number one. Beautiful play over there that time at second base for the Warriors as it was McCourt who I don't know how he got his glove down on that short hop. Yeah, Aiden did a great job charging that ball. If he would have waited for that ball, again, that would have been an uh, infield hit right there, but did a great job charging that ball, took it on a short hop, great throw. Misko stands back in. He grounded out to first his first time up. Jenkins ready, delivers, too low, scooped out of the dirt. Ball one to the first baseman for the Pirates. Next delivery, too high. Misko holds the hands back. He's ahead 
Again, big shout out to all our high school ADs uh, here too, making this all happen for these kids. Uh, a lot of baseball games, a lot of softball games, mixing track, mixing high school and uh, middle school sports, and they got a, a busy spring season. Absolutely. Sky down the right field line. Right fielder going to make the play, but running out of room, or actually I should say not being able to get to it quick enough there was Bauman as – that fence is a little bit further out than I thought there, Stump. I was thinking, oh, boy, you're running out of room there, yeah, buddy. Yeah, it's, it's what Bauman kept running and running and running. And, uh, again, I think that's where the wind ended up helping, too. <laughs> Pushed it to right field even more. And that is a uh, that's a great sprint right there and great effort. Just, unfortunately, not able to come up with it. I guess unfortunate if you're Carrollton. Fortunate <laughs> if you're Garrett Way, I should I saw say. saw that fence hove it into view, and I'm thinking, uh, oh, boy. Yeah. Jenkins delivers outside, but he got Misko to bite. Swung on and missed, even at two and two. That was the setup from earlier. Jenkins went inside, then went outside and got Misko to chase. Two, two. Just a little bit low. And Jenkins is doing a nice job just flirting around that entire. I mean, he's going left, right, inside, outside, up, down. He's. He's done a great job uh, keeping the Garraway Pirates off guard. Delivers and fouled straight over our heads. We'll do it again at 3-2. I tell you what, I, was waiting for, I thought you were going to be a little bit quicker on the hand side. I you am glad that. we're not about six feet higher, or we'd have about 20 <laughs> balls in here tonight, man. It's, uh, <laughs> we are in a great location, great height, uh, beautiful facility here. Well, I don't see any ladders or anything up. We were going to put you up there. I was going to stay right down here. Jenkins, 3-2. Swung on, hard grounder past the third baseman, and Misko's got a single. He'll look down to the left fielder, make a big turn, but he'll hold up there with a base knock. Good piece of hitting. He pulled it as hard as he could down that first baseline, or pardon me, third baseline. Whitmore gave it a try, but he was kind of shaded over towards short. That is a tough play to make. Again, Carrollton doing a nice job. Again, great hustle, getting up to the ball, holding him to a, a, a single. Great, great job there. Courtesy runner now coming in for the Pirates. It is Lincoln Flinner, the junior. So Flinner will take over at first. Standing in, Jackson Reifenschneider, the catcher. His first time up, flew out to dead center. And a ball he hit about a mile into the air. First delivery from Jenkins, too far out. Snap throw down to first, but it's just going to be not quite in time. That is a quick delivery behind the, or the, behind the plate there from James. I tell you what, Mr. Uh, Mr. Flinner with a big lead there. Uh. <laughs> yeah, might, that lead might have just shortened up by a step after that throwdown. I think Mr. Jenkins noticed that as well. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Of course, like I said, you, you kind of want to force them to keep throwing it, see if they'll make a mistake. Absolutely. All of our replays brought to you by Wayne Dorr <laughs> and would have had a chance again there for another throwdown as cat and mouse game between Jenkins and Flinner. Who's going to flinch first? <laughs> Jenkins, ready. Delivers. Swung on and missed. Reifenschneider couldn't catch up to the high heat. It's one and one. Now, if you're Reifenschneider, you're standing in there for that long. You see all those throwdowns. You're thinking, man, I got to stay warm and ready. <laughs> Quit scooting around. Thinking, come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jenkins steps off, throws to first. Another quick, pl <laughs> close play at first, but still safe as Flinner. Well, you know, if you're the junior over there at first for Garraway, he's thinking, oh, I'm just going to try to keep getting into Jenkins' head. Maybe he'll make a mistake pitch to Schneider. Fouled straight up over our heads. It's one and two. Yeah, I don't know if uh, Flinner's uh, parents are here, but uh, as close as these are at first base, I'm sure it's making them a little nervous. <laughs> Something tells me if he comes in as the courtesy runner, he knows exactly what he's doing. <laughs> he's thinking, I'm just having fun, man. Jenkins delivers. Curveball cuts too far inside. It's now 2-2 two and two to Reifenschneider. Schneider. 
Flinner, another decent lead. 2-2 count upcoming. 2-2 pitch, I should say. Jenkins delivers. Just a bit low. Count goes full to the Pirates catcher. Tell you, Garraway again continues to do a great job, just patience and great discipline at the plate and uh, really making Hayden Jenkins uh, work for these outs. Next delivery fouled away. We'll do it again at 3 2. Make an apology. I'm already ahead for softball season. Pinch runner at first in Flinner. Oh. My bad, Stump. <laughs> I was like, what did I say wrong? It's oh, that's what I said wrong. Right back up the middle. Jenkins has it go off of his foot. He'll stay with it. Deliver on to first. Still get Reifenschneider on the fielder's choice. That's the second comebacker that Jenkins has had to handle. So yeah. Flinner advances to <laughs> second. It was rather comical. We did get a lot of looks, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking, what in the world? Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> yeah, Casey Claxon now they're giving Casey. me a hard time. Casey keeping us sharp there. So I think I'm just the rest of this inning. I'm just going to keep saying Flinner the pinch runner, pinch runner at second and Flinner. <laughs> Flinner. <laughs> Standing in now uh. for the Pirates, Blake Herman. We'll watch strike one. Jenkins looks back. The 0-1 on oh, in the inside nice. corner. You saw Herman get buckled a little bit there. He's behind 0-2. Man, Jenkins doing a good job just bending that right into the batter. And, again, just a really tough pitch to try to swing at. The 0-2. Strike three called up and in corner. And Jenkins works out of it again. Strands another as we'll move on to the bottom of the fourth, still no score from Carrollton. Stay tuned. Big Z Sports has more baseball after this. If you're planning a major concrete project, you need the help of Stocker Concrete Company. From precast concrete products to ready mix concrete, sand, gravel, limestone, and concrete block, the professionals at Stocker Concrete can help you get started and keep you on the path to completion using the best materials you can find. Stocker Concrete is the concrete material provider you can count on. See them at 7574 Route 36, Janaden Hutton, or call 740-254-4626. Dumont Sporting Goods in Dover and Canton has just what you're looking for, so your athlete has the best gear for the sports they play. Dumont's has a large apparel selection and can handle your customized screen printing as well as embroidery for your team or business. For sporting goods and for all your apparel needs, Dumont Sporting Goods in Dover and Canton has everything you want to play and look your best. Hi, I'm Zach Motais with the Tuscross Insurance Agency. For all your auto, home, farm, and business insurance needs, contact our team at the Tuscross Insurance Agency. Or stop in and see us at one of our three locations in downtown New Philadelphia, Sugar Creek, or in Strasburg. Providing excellent service to the Tuscross Valley since 1885. Everyone here at the Tuscross Insurance Agency would like to wish all area athletes good luck this season. Cooper Hahn to lead things off for the Carrollton Warriors as we move to the bottom of the fourth inning. Big Z Sports back again. Thanks to everybody for tuning in. And, of course, if you have not done so yet, get subscribed today to the Big Z Sports YouTube channel. Get notified when we go live for all of our broadcasts. Hahn goes after the first pitch he sees and will foul it off down the left side. Yeah, we've talked about the patience for Garraway. Carrollton's been on the other side of that, and... First pitch, swing in a lot of these pitches, really aggressive at the plate. Just two different styles today. Too far outside, maybe a little bit high. Strike cold on the outside corner. Miller gets Hahn behind, one and two. 
tell you, Aiden doing a nice job of bending that one right into the batter. Good hold by Hahn as that one was high and away. Good setup by Miller there to get to that point. I have to say, I think uh, Warriors coach Brian Conley was giving his dugout a little bit of a hard time. He jogged all the way down the third baseline to get that last foul ball. <laughs> <laughs> Next delivery, too far inside. So the count runs full. A lot of times you'll see some smaller kids getting all the foul balls. That's well, he, he, came in after, he came in after Coach picked it up, and he just looked at him, and he went back into the dugout like, oh, I'm going to hear about this later, aren't I? <laughs> I tell you what, though, those kids have got a workout going to get these foul balls. Comebacker right up the middle as Hahn delivers a leadoff single right over the head of Miller. From our angle, that looked maybe a little bit closer. <laughs> That's about the third or fourth ball straight hit straight up the middle in a, on a line there, Stump. Straight, and uh, again for the uh, third straight inning, the uh, leadoff uh, batter gets on. Pinch runner coming on now at first for the Carrollton Warriors. Uh, uh, I'm going to go Kay. home after this, Stump, I think. Kay. Casey's relentless, man. He's in midseason form already. He certainly is, <laughs> let me tell you. If he wasn't so good with this uh, camera crew of his, uh, we'd probably have some words. <laughs> probably still wouldn't. I, I would just keep... <laughs> Miller's ready. Delivers. There's a bunt and a beautiful one by Houston. He goes right up the middle. No play at second, so they advance the runner into scoring position. Nice sacrifice there for Houston with one gone now. Good. Ain't doing a nice job getting to that grounder. Great bunt. Uh, moving the batter to second, getting the scoring position one out. First baseman, Hunter Allison. He'll step in. His first time up had a single. Eventually, he was the one who got out at second on the double play ball. Miller looks the runner back, delivers, fouled away. Allison fights it off of his hands. I tell you what, this umpire had to play baseball, man. He fires those balls back at the pitcher. To <laughs> Just a lot of practice I mean, back there, probably. He's, he's excited, too. Man, I'm impressed. <laughs> well, he's in early season form, too, as Miller delivers <laughs> that one. Popped up, center field. Amacone comes on. Shortstop and second baseman converge. And eventually making the play out there will be Keller for out number two. And you saw Allison on his way down to first kind of Upset with himself, not quite getting enough at charge into that one to potentially advance the runner or maybe hitting behind him down the right field line. Yeah, from our advantage here, it looked like that was going to make it out in center field. I thought it was Ann McCone's ball for sure. That just, uh, I think the wind's just knocking them down today and not traveling at all. High and tight, McCourt watches ball one. He's the one, he hit into a double play in the second inning. Miller delivers too high behind 2-0. Delivery from Miller just a bit outside, and now McCourt's 3-0. All right, Stump, I'm going to ask you with your expertise. No score, two outs, 3-0 count. Give him the green light here, see what he can do, because you assume the pitch might be down to pipe. Let it rip, Tater Chip. Won't have to worry about it as it's ball four instead. McCourt walked on four straight pitches. It will be Isaiah McConnell to step in now. He struck out swinging his last time up, and Reifenschneider wants a word with his pitcher again with the two runners on. Again, if you're Aiden Miller, again, you had first base open. Not a big deal. Mm -hmm. uh, again, you got two outs. Concentrate on the batter. Again, Isaiah's in a nice spot right now. Isaiah McConnell now up. Again, struck out in the second inning. A chance to redeem that. Too high, ball one. Not about you, but I think we're right over top of the concession stand. I'm smelling hot dogs or something that's <laughs> killing me right now. Swung on and missed. Actually, a foul tip for McConnell. <laughs> Handled by Reifenschneider. How many has he caught now off of foul tips? That's about five. <laughs> that uh, that kid's got a good focus right there. 
<laughs> Miller's next delivery. Off speed. Buckles the knees of McConnell. He goes behind 1-2. Miller ready with the one-two. Inside corner and low, maybe a bit too low to McConnell. Count draws even. Tell you, great eye by Isaiah there. Again, that's a that's a tough pitch to take at one and two. Makes it two and two now, and great discipline. I've been talking about Jenkins' movement from Carrollton. Miller's got it, too, for Garraway. That one pushed out there by McConnell to short. Delivered on to first by Keller, and we stay at no score. It is still nothing, nothing. We go on to the top of the fifth with the Pirates coming up to the plate. Jenkins back on the mound for the Warriors. Hey, homeowners, are you ready to give your home a spring makeover? The Wayne Door Annual Spring Sale is happening April 1st through the 6th. Get ready to save big on garage doors, entry doors, windows, and more. It's the perfect time to enhance your curb appeal and security without breaking the bank. Visit our Dover and Cambridge showrooms to work with our team of experts. Let's make that spring dream a reality. And don't forget, for every $500 spent, enter for a chance to win one of three amazing prizes. Visit WayneDoor.com for more details, and we'll see you April 1st through the 6th for the Wayne Door Annual Spring Sale. Wood Electric has been trusted with all of your electrical needs for over 30 years. They are the place to call for residential, commercial, and industrial work. Wood Electric is available 24 hours a day and ready to help with any electrical problem, outage, or installation. Wood Electric, serving Tuscarawas County and beyond since 1988. Like Wood Electric on Facebook or find them online at woodelectric.net. How about some Kane Brown coming back from the innings now? Hey, Stump, you're not going to get happy what. about that one. but <laughs> Our DJ has it rolling today, man. It's Top of the fifth inning, Jesse Beachy to lead things off for the Pirates. Strikeout victim. Jenkins still rolling for Carrollton. If you like defensive baseball, you like pitching, this is the game for you. Of course, thank you to all of our sponsors for today. Tuscarawas Insurance Agency hopping on for our presenting sponsor this year for our baseball and softball games. Can't thank them enough. All your replays you're seeing courtesy of the Claxon Communications crew brought to you by Wayne Dorr. Beachy readies himself. Jenkins toes the rubber again. Tell you what, Casey and his crew do a really nice job, and it's always nice to go back, especially if you have the kids go watch these games. And uh, just a, a really neat opportunity that him and his gang uh, provides uh, the Northeast Ohio. And I guess <laughs> – any East Ohio, all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> Saw Beachy foul that first one back, and he kind of shook his head thinking, why did I go after that one? Did a good job getting the bat on it, though. Next pitch way outside. It's one and one. Jenkins probably thinking, hey, I got him to chase on the outside corner just a little bit off. Let's try a little bit farther off and see if he'll go for it. One, one delivery. Swung on and missed. To your point, as you said earlier, Jenkins working inside, outside, up and down. He has had some good stuff today. Back, door, back foot breaking ball, maybe? Boom. Called it for you, Stump. I tell you. Strike three as Jenkins sits him down. <laughs> I don't know how you're stealing these signs here, but the Houston Astros would be proud of you right now. <laughs> Sorry for all you Houston Astros fans. <laughs> I don't think we got any list. I have any watching right now. Myself. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Too much watching baseball. Maybe that's why I've got it. Miller <laughs> will stand back in for the Pirates. Jenkins delivers. Strike one on the inside corner. That had some tailing action back in towards Miller. Got the old pitch com going. Jenkins delivers, fouled away by Miller. Back over this chain link fencing. He's behind 0-2. Miller his first time out. He was a ground out to third. Yeah, if you have any uh, close VIP parking, uh, ain't just close to your car. <laughs> Jenkins delivers wow. with the breaking ball, and it goes on the outside corner this time for strike three. Same exact pitch Miller could not deliver. And that one, if you're a left-handed batter facing that from a left-handed pitcher, you see that tailing action away. 
unless you can time that just perfectly and just get a bat on it, all you're going to want to try to do is foul that off to stay alive anyway. Yeah, Jenkins gotten stronger and stronger as this game's gone on. And uh, again, nice job there for his, I believe, his fifth strikeout of the game. That would be, have been number five. Right, you are. He's actually got three straight punch outs now. Going to work now against Blaine Schleybaugh, the left fielder for the Pirates. Schleybaugh has the count even at one and one. Jenkins next delivery. Swung on and missed the high heater. Schleybaugh chased. Jenkins delivery inside just a bit too far in. Count at two and two. Bring that pitch in about two inches and you'll be sitting him down. It was funny how many oohs you heard <laughs> in the crowd. Hey, you know it was close. Jenkins delivery swung on and missed and that's four straight punch outs now for the Carrollton starter. He sits him down in order with three straight punch outs as well. We will move on to the bottom of the fifth. Warriors coming to the plate. Cush Financial Group has been proudly serving the financial needs of local community members for over 35 years. The team at Cush Financial follows an industry-leading service model with the unique approach and fiduciary responsibilities associated with their board-certified financial planner. With over 75 years of combined experience, the advisors at Cush Financial Group are here to help you achieve your financial goals. Contact the office at 330-308-8700 or visit cushfinancial.com to schedule your free consultation today. Securities and investment advisory services offered through Independent Capital Company Incorporated, member FINRA, SIPC. Find your path to success at Buckeye Career Center. Buckeye students earned over 3,000 industry-recognized credentials this past school year, and over 130 students participated in our school-to-work program or an internship at a local business. Let us help you get a jump start on your future in a career of landscaping and turf management, pharmacy technician, HVACR, CAD development and design, or any of our over 30 programs. Enroll today for next school year by visiting BuckeyeCareerCenter.org. Back to Carrollton High School. We're just going to keep naming all the name that tune, ACDC, to AC bring us DC. back in. <laughs> Very fitting for the uh, black uniforms. So Carrollton will have the top of their order coming in. As unfortunately, I don't have in front of me. It's number five. It is Braden Bowman who stands in the sophomore. I'm getting yelled at by Casey Claxton again off camera. Adam Sueski's also here. I'm going to tell Adam I'm done with baseball and softball already this year. <laughs> Poor Nick's had a rough day. Hardly makes it up uh, the stairs with a little uh, well, a boot, I guess. Uh, you, with, no, it's not I guess. It's, it's yeah. with injuries to be determined, I think, at this point. I still give myself and, uh, a day-to-day -day designation. Again, I was just happy to see Nick make it up the stairs to the press box gracefully. <laughs> there ain't nothing graceful about it. As Bowman watches ball number one. Bachman. <laughs> Popped up right side. Second baseman trailing over and making the catch will be Herman for out number one. Jenkins to stand in. So far, he's flown out to center, had a single and a stolen base and is putting together one heck of a performance on the mound. Lefty-lefty matchup again. Miller delivers too far outside. He tried the bender. A little too much bite into the right-handed batter's box. The 1-0 delivery inside that time. You saw Jenkins' stump kind of slap his leg. I don't know, maybe that was the pitch he was looking for. Next delivery from Miller, too high, 3-0. Sometimes even though the pitch isn't going to catch the zone, you have an idea of where you want it. Maybe Jenkins was thinking something the inside part of the plate he could drive, maybe to the right center gap as he'll watch one right down to pipe, 3-1. It's a nice luxury when your head coach, Brian Connolly, and can put your uh, dominating pitcher in the second slot, and he produces uh, 
quite often. Miller battles back, makes it a full count. The 3 2. Bender wow. buckles Jenkins' legs. A strikeout looking for out number two. Tell you, great comeback by Aiden Miller there. Again, went down 3 0 and threw three straight strikes. Really solid pitching right there. There were a few things more terrifying as a batter seeing a pitch come out of a pitcher's hand that looks like it's going to hit you, and then all of a sudden it's about three inches in on the inside part of the plate. Thing comes right at your head and bends right over. Whitmore stands in, watches ball one. He had a single in the first, then struck out in the third. And we've talked, uh, you know, during the commercials, again, both of these pitchers throwing a nice game right now. Pop-up, Amicone coming in hard, slides, can't quite make the grab, as that was a tough play out there for the center fielder for the Pirates, Whitmore. I'd imagine be awarding a, awarded a single there as Amicone went all out, tried to slide to get that momentum and time it right. That is a difficult thing to do. Also looking up, Sun's kind of setting behind the press box. Not sure if that could have played into it. Yeah, a lot of things working against Gabe Amicone out there. Again, you got the sun, you got the wind blowing in, and again, it looked like that ball just really died going out in center field there. So uh, trying to get his bearings out there, great hustle, great attempt, and uh, again, results in a, a single by Whitmore. Landon James to stand in. He reached on an error and flew out to right. That's Jake's uh, second base hit of the game, going two for three so far today. Skied to the right side, racing against the right fielder. It's going to go into his <laughs> glove. As running it down out there was Kimball, who had to come a long way to end this fifth inning. We'll move on to the top of the sixth, as it will be Garraway at the plate again. Still no score with Big Z Sports. Wendy's new breakfast two for three dollar biggie bundles let you create your own delicious combo. Choose from a sausage biscuit, egg and cheese biscuit, small seasoned potatoes, and a medium hot coffee. But it's obvious which combo's the best. Sausage biscuit and small seasoned potatoes. Well, maybe it's the fresh cracked egg and cheese biscuit with a medium hot coffee. Or two savory sausage biscuits. Yeah, whichever you pick, you can't go wrong. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new two for three dollar biggie bundles. Limited time only. U.S. price of participation may vary. Not valid in a combo. Single item at regular price. Live more comfortably this winter with the help of Unified Insulation Systems. Unified Insulation Systems is a full-service insulation and weatherization provider that can show you how to properly insulate your home or business. With good insulation from Unified Systems, you can prevent your gutters from freezing and get rid of your high-energy bills. Call Jeremiah Thomas today for your free quote at 330-773-7377 or visit unifiedinsulation.com. Call Unified Insulation Systems today, your most trusted name in insulation. At Kaufman Realty and Auctions, you've got options. Your property is unique, and our agents know how to sell it. Whether it's a traditional listing or live auction, we'll earn you top dollar. Our agents will utilize whichever method of sale works best. When buying or selling your next home, call on Kaufman. Back in to start the sixth inning and continuing our Name That Tune <laughs> segment, P.O.D. Here comes the boom. Here we go. I tell you what, this is all right. We're going to take this show on the road and travel all season with this show. Little did you know, we talk about baseball and music. All right. <laughs> Jenkins still on the bump for the Warriors, looking to continue his dominant day. Right now he's riding a four-strikeout streak. Back to the top of the order for Garraway. It's Ethan Kimball. He'll stand in. He drew a walk, got caught stealing, and struck out so far. And made a heck of a play in right. Jenkins delivers. High and outside. You know the old adage there, Stump, you make a great play on defense, you get to lead off the next inning. It's a thing of beauty in baseball. <laughs> Better yet, if you uh, do some damage, you get on base. Jenkins high and away again. He falls behind 2-0. I've not seen any action out of either side in terms of warming up any relief pitchers to this point. Jenkins ready. His delivery to Kimball is going to be too low, 3-0. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how both coaches actually use their pitching staff today. Um, again, you got both pitchers really dominating right now. 
Uh, but again, being early in the season, you want to make sure you take care of those arms and uh, make them uh, or ensure that they're really strong come uh, tournament run. Well, Garraway gets things started off right with a four pitch walk, and Coach Conley from Carrollton going out now to meet with his pitcher in Jenkins. Yeah, it may be just doing what we just talked about, just kind of checking on them, making sure everything feels good so far, and kind of calm them down, tell he's got everything in control of this place. And yeah, we'll he see here. Wants to talk to his infield. A little conversation. I didn't see any change out there. Don't think he moved no. anybody around. I think they were actually just getting their defensive alignment here, and it looks like the third baseman for Carrollton and Whitmore playing up on the corner, double play depth. Jenkins ready. It's Amicone standing in now for Garraway, and there's the bunt attempt, and he couldn't quite get it down. So Carrollton was snuffing that out as Whitmore was coming in fast. Like I talked about a little bit earlier, Nick, the, the sun's starting to go down, get a little bit lower, coming right off the uh, first baseline. Uh, you know, it depends on where you hit the balls in this field. Uh, it really could make an impact on if the, if the team's uh, able to make a play. It's another butt attempt, and that was a breaking ball that was high that Amicone pulled the bat back, and Kimball had to scramble <laughs> back. James thought about firing it down there, but... I don't think he really had his footing under him from behind the plate. Jenkins steps off, throws to first, but Kimball was ready. Yeah, Kimball learned his lesson there. He uh, looked like the old Yosemite Sam there for a little bit. <laughs> had to slam the brakes on and got the legs uh, going quick to get back last pitch and uh, did a nice job of making him throw over there. Jenkins delivers bunt from Amicone, and it's fouled backwards again, so now 1-2. Amicone kind of shakes his head there a little bit, thinking I should have got one of those down. Yeah, if you're the batter right now, again, uh, saddles work in your favor right now, uh, kind of in your, your back and able to see the ball well. Jenkins, 1-2 delivery. Swung on and delivered towards the third baseman. Whitmore goes to first to get the lead runner, deliver on to first. I said second to get the lead runner, deliver on to first, not in time. So the fielder's choice will give them out number one. Keep a runner on first. Again, nice job by the third baseman, Jake Whitmore there. Again, taking his time. Ball wasn't hit really solid. Unable to get the double play. Definitely got the uh, the play at second, the lead runner, and that's what you want. It really died on the infield. I thought Amicone might have found the gap between third and short. Didn't quite do it, though. That one's too high. James can't handle it, and Amicone's going to advance on the pass ball. Although, depending on how you're ruling that at home, Stump, might have been a wild pitch as Jenkins went a little bit high. I think he lost the grip, and he actually pats his chest there looking at his catcher saying, my bad. Yeah, Landon, uh, <laughs> Landon's not going to grab that one. Uh, he <laughs> moved quick, and uh, like I said, that was uh, – a little, uh, a little high. I'll let, I'll just, let you do your Bob Euchre impression again just if you'd like. Just a bit high. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jenkins stares Amicone back, delivers too high. Keller, good hitters count, 2-0. Runner in scoring position. Top of the sixth inning, still no score from Carrollton on this opening day showdown. Jenkins delivers. Outside corner, strike one. That's the location you want if you're Jenkins. Keller going to log that away, though. If he can deliver that in the right center gap, that's going to score Amico in all day. Yeah, I think this is the first time uh, Garraway's had someone in scoring position uh, with less than two outs on, so big opportunity here for Garraway here. Just a bit too low. Jenkins wanted that one. Instead, he slips behind 3-1. If you're Keller... Wouldn't, wouldn't rule out the 3-1 bender. He 
Instead, he goes with the high heat and blows it right past him. Count goes back into a full count now. Tell you, both these kids doing a great job fighting right now. Jenkins again coming back, full count. The delivery swung on and fought off. Keller stays alive at 3 2. <laughs> and actually, we do have a little. <laughs> Got a couple of our uh, Garraway kids uh, warming up right now and uh, taking shelter from that foul ball. They, they heard heads up, uh, which again, what does everyone do? Looks up. Well, that's why years ago when I was a kid playing, you always yelled headache. <laughs> Jenkins delivers. That's a beautiful piece of hitting as Keller delivers it on to the second baseman and will move Amicone up to third, but it is out number two. So Amicone, very close to breaking this scoreless tie now. Misko stands in. He ground out to first, and then tell you, first, we uh, got a single after that. First uh, runner to reach third for Garraway. I think it's only our second in the game. I believe so. After Carrollton had the bases juiced, couldn't get anybody home. And the farthest base runner, you are right, Stump, made it to second for the Pirates. So their best opportunity right now to score. Big gap in left center. Right down Broadway, strike one. If Misko can get ahead of it just a little bit, you see the gap I do between the center fielder and the left fielder. Jenkins delivers, swung on and fouled off. So one, two. Jenkins needs one more strike to work out of a bit of a jam here. In the sixth inning. You can tell Zach Miskell's got some power, too. Uh, probably the deepest I've seen the outfielders uh, play all game right now. The delivery. Inside, great block by James behind the plate. Prevents the run. Great lateral movement back there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, got out of his stance really quick. Great job blocking it. And, again, kept it right in front of him. No chance uh, for Amicone to come home. The two, two swung on, charge into it, left center, left cent left fielder, camps under it, and makes the catch as it had a little bit of late life, but making the play out there and ending the scoring threat there for Garraway. We'll move on to the bottom of the sixth inning. Still no score. Can the Warriors break through? Find out after this. PAC Drilling, a family-owned and operated company since 2005 in Bolivar, takes pride in being an economic oil and gas drilling company. PAC's objective is to contribute to American energy independence through profitable development, operation, and marketing of oil and natural gas wells. PAC also employs operating technicians to oversee each and every well drilled to maximize its productivity and longevity. Contact PAC Drilling at packdrilling.com. Paw Palace Boarding and Grooming in Carrollton offers all the services to keep your pup feeling and looking its best. Paw Palace offers full grooming, de-shed, flea and tick baths, medicated baths, nail trim, teeth and ear cleaning, and even doggy nail polish. Plus, Paw Palace offers their temperature-controlled boarding services with four exercise yards and outside runs and complimentary doggy snuggles. See all they offer by finding Paw Palace Boarding and Grooming on Facebook. Paw Palace Boarding and Grooming, a proud supporter of high school athletics. At Huebner Chevrolet in Carrollton, we're focused 100% on delivering each and every customer an amazing experience. And it's actually very simple. We have a huge selection of inventory, and it's always priced to move. Need proof? We've saved our customers an average of $2,400 off KBB retail value over the past year. That's $2,400 per customer. Stop in today or visit us online at drivehubner.com. Cooper Hahn to lead things off for the Warriors in the home half of the sixth inning. Still no score. What a defensive and pitching battle we have seen thus far. Honestly, in my opinion, best way to start a baseball season. 
I tell you what, wouldn't have guessed it actually. Uh, you know, usually, uh, you know, it takes a little bit for the pitchers to get in it during the season and the bats get going, but not tonight. Both these pitchers done a great job controlling uh, the game. It's Landon James, or pardon me, Cooper Hahn, pardon me, who's standing in. Next pitch misses the zone, 2-0. Next pitch, misses the zone again. Hahn ahead, 3-0. Yeah, this is exact, the exact same way Hayden Jenkins came out <laughs> last inning and threw uh, three straight balls. And We'll see what happens with this pitch. Going to be ball four. Yep. Both, both pitchers actually giving up a walk their uh, first batter of the sixth inning. So the leading run will stand at first. Coming in now for the Warriors will be Isaac Houston. And a meeting on the mound here. Coach Jake Elmore wants a bit of a word. We've seen both coaches now meeting with their starting pitchers. And one of the things you could always say in the early season goings, you know, you're just trying to get some good quality at bats, get some good quality pitches and stuff. You don't want your guys, you know, necessarily running themselves ragged. However, these are the times when you know that they're going to need in crunch time later on in the season, especially in tournament play. What better way to start learning than early? Yeah, probably, uh, like I said, you kind of want to build that endurance up. It's it's kind of that big old balancing act, and and uh, each coach is going to treat it a little bit differently. You know, do you want to use a lot of your pitchers up? Depends on what the rest of your schedule looks like this week, too. Um, you know, a lot of times some games have already, again, condenses uh, games into a smaller portion of the week. And, uh, you know, each coach trying to do their best to make sure, you know, what's best for these kids today, but also the rest of the week and their schedule. A little bullpen action going on for Carrollton right now. And there's going to be a pickoff and can't quite handle it as it was Reifenschneider who would have had, who will step up to the plate first. Game. On there, and both these starting pitchers. Last inning? Yes. <laughs> Two quick strikes from B. Of course, I was going to interview some right. McCourt lines out for out number one. Next to early, or I shouldn't say early, in the late stages of this game. It's not been what we'd call an offensive explosion for either of these teams. They've really not been able to string. Three and one. Next to Bob for man, Pete's sake, you're not telling me. <laughs> Herman's delivery too high, and he'll walk Buckman. <laughs> now you're in my head. <laughs> Aiden Jenkins steps up to the plate. Well, you're going to go back later. You're Carrollton potentially for this on that last close play down that the line. Was. I, we couldn't tell from our angle, but it was. <laughs> Share someone? Hi, this is Noah Sug with Brig Brothers Big Sisters, and we are faced with our biggest commitment in matching 56 Littles with Bigs. We will match a little with you that shares the same interests and enjoys the same things, so you can do what you enjoy and change the life of a little at the same time. To learn more, we ask you call 339-6916 or visit bigs4kids.com slash volunteer. Thank you. If you're planning a major concrete project, you need the help of Stocker Concrete Company. From precast concrete products to ready mix concrete, sand, gravel, limestone, and concrete block, the professionals at Stocker Concrete can help you get started and keep you on the path to completion using the best materials you can find. Stocker Concrete is the concrete material provider you can count on. See them at 7574 Route 36, Janaden Hutton, or call 740-254-4626. Dumont Sporting Goods in Dover and Canton has just what you're looking for, so your athlete has the best gear for the sports they play. Dumont, for all your apparel needs, Dumont Sporting Goods in Dover and Canton has everything you want to play and look your best. Agency. We're in the eighth. McConnell's back on the mound for Carrollton. It will be 9-1. We'll have to give a shout-out to Paul Palace Boarding and Grooming and Hubner Chevrolet. 
And, and what a game so far through today. <laughs> I can't say enough about how the pitching has gone so far, and the defense for that matter. Both these sides pretty sharp here in this early going, but trying to find the bats. There's going to be a fly ball to right. Schleybaugh gets into it. Right fielder tracks it and will track it down in Bachman, who will make the catch. <laughs> Haven't called Tyler Bachman's name a whole bunch through <laughs> through today. Back to the top of the order, Kimball. In third one, maybe, with the ball on the outside. All right. That will catch the corner from McConnell. Brings the pitch in. Both sides, just a really nice fielding, uh, keeping both teams in check. That was a pitch from McConnell that he went back out to the spot. Live, uh, live to fight another pitch. Make McConnell throw more strikes. The one, two, swung on and missed. And McConnell will log a strikeout for out number two. McConnell's first strike out of the game. So far, he's came in relief rather well. See if he can keep it rolling. Amicone steps to the plate. He has failed to record a hit in three at-bats. He reached on a fielder's choice in the sixth. A little bit as far as hitting the ball, just everything's been to the right side of the field and a lot of... Uh, Soft pop-ups right. Guide up by Amicone. It's going to go back right by the bleachers here and out of play. McConnell takes a deep breath, toes the rubber. Amicone stands in. Well, they're just like you said, uh, Gabe way out in front of that and uh, – and kept him guessing. The one, two. In the dirt, blocked by James. Count is at twos. Two gone in the eighth inning. Still no score from Carrollton. Tell you, it goes back to uh, when Garraway had, uh, I think Gabe was on third base, and uh, James did a great job of blocking that uh, ball in the dirt, saved a Garraway dug out, reaching out there to the pitcher's mound now. Delivery, that's the bender. Amicone drives. So it will be a two-out base runner there for the Pirates. Gabe placed it uh, perfectly right there in the left field. Gabe ends up on first base. Pickoff, and it was a quick move for McConnell. Amicone just gets the hand back in. I don't know who teaches these pitchers from Carrollton their pickoff moves, but uh, that, that's a good uh, a coach or assistant coach right there. <laughs> Keller stands back in for the... Pirates, he reached on a single and also hit into a fielder's choice and ground out. Evett, center field, coming in is Jenkins, and he'll camp under it and make the catch for out number three. Hi, I'm Zach Motice with the Tuscross Insurance Agency. For all your auto, home, farm, and business insurance needs, contact our team at the Tuscross Insurance Agency. The Tuscross Valley since 1885. Everyone here at the Tuscross Insurance Agency would like to wish all area athletes good luck this season. Annual Spring Sale is happening April 1st through the 6th. Get ready to save big on garage doors, entry doors, windows, and more. It's the perfect time to enhance your curb appeal and security without breaking the bank. Visit our Dover and Cambridge showrooms to work with our team of experts. Let's make that spring dream a reality. And don't forget, for every $500 spent, enter for a chance to win one of three amazing prizes. Visit waynedoor.com for more details, and we'll see you April 1st through the 6th for the Wayne Door Annual Spring Sale. Welcome back in to Carrollton High School. Today's presentation of high school baseball brought to you by the Tuscarawas Insurance Agency. We're back to name that tune. We got Shine Down bringing us back in now. <laughs> so, on to the bottom of the eighth. It will be 3 4 5 due up for Carrollton. Whitmore, James, and Hahn will be due up. Still on the mound for Garraway in relief is Blake Herman. <laughs> the sweatshirts on and appreciate the hospitality up here. 
Herman so far in his relief effort, doing a great job. All the pitching has just been top tier for both these sides. Next delivery, too low. Yeah, both of these teams done a great job. Uh, again, got a 0-0 score, uh, but the uh, the fundamentals seem there on both sides right now. Pitching's been good on both sides. Uh, both of these teams uh, keep this up. They got a, a good season to look forward to. Herman's delivery jumped on by Whitmore, who will ground it to Keller, delivered across the diamond for out number one. Whitmore made some solid contact, just couldn't find a hole. It is James to stand in. So far, he's reached on an error and flown out. Basket, easy for the first baseman. James pops up, center field. Amicone calls everybody off, and he finally gets to it. <laughs> right fielder bailed out, and that's one of the moments when you're a defender when you're realizing, oh, it really has to be me to make the play now. Cooper Hahn stands in. Hahn has a single and has walked twice. Again, one of those instances where uh, not hit really hard. Everybody off guard a little bit, but made the play, and that's the important thing. Herman delivers on the corner to Hahn, strike one. Hahn, that last inning, got things started with a four-pitch walk. But if you remember Stump, he got picked off in the sixth. Got picked off, uh, but again, it's been on base uh, every, uh, every bat here. Counts now 1-1 one, one as Herman misses high. Yeah, that was a, a big pickoff there uh, in the uh, sixth inning there. Uh, got him on four straight uh, balls and had him picked off and kind of set his confidence a uh, little bit higher and been taking care of business since then. 2-1 count as he couldn't find the zone. Herman gets the call. Comes set. His 2-1 delivery swung on, fouled away by Hahn. Count even at 2-2. Two and two. Again, the big thing right now, if you're head coach Brian Conley, you got to keep telling your team, listen, we don't have to do this in one swing. Uh, you know, they got a good lineup from top to bottom. You know, just do those little little things that get you on base and move them to the, uh, you know, second and try to put every, anyone in scoring position at this point. At this point, you just don't want those kids going up there trying to swing for the fences at this point, trying to end it in one pitch. Herman kicks, fires, Hahn fights off the inside pitch. Way down the right field line. You know, if you'd asked me if I'd been sitting here what, in the eighth inning at a 0-0 <laughs> tie, I would have said you were crazy, but. Han just is able to fight it off. Yeah, I wouldn't have believed that myself as running through here. I have Carrollton down for five base knocks in the game. As for Garraway, I believe I've only got him down for about three. Good. And on top of that, I don't believe there's been any extra base hits either. I believe you're right. Hahn fights off another one, stays alive at 2-2. Great. Nice job of hitting right there. And, uh, again, pitch right on the corner. Doing a nice job of fighting to live another pitch. It's the kind of game that, you know, realistically, it's just one swing of the bat or one play that can really, really make all the difference and see if any late-game heroics, who's going to be the one to deliver them. Herman shakes off the first call, second call from Schneider. Now he'll go with the third. His delivery. Hahn sees it go high. Payoff pitch upcoming. What a great battle late in the game for Hahn. Yeah, we've had uh, quite a few of these throughout the, uh, the game today where kids just really disciplined, got a really good eye. Umpire's been calling a good, consistent strike zone and uh, really makes for a, a good battle. On the payoff, Hahn puts it back up the middle off of the second baseman's glove, but he'll run it down, deliver on to first. It was a wide throw, and Misko pulled his foot. So the inning stays alive for Carrollton as over there at second. I want to say the throw was necessarily rushed, but 
after it bounced away, tried to deliver it on quickly, just could not do it. Yeah, so we'll did see a, what happens. Did a great job knocking the ball down there. And to your point, uh, almost looked like he might have rushed it a little bit. Uh, just pulled the first baseman off there. So back in is Isaac Houston. Struck out twice and had a sacrifice bunt. So we'll enter with an 0-2 mark so far in his scorecard. Herman's delivery too far outside. You know, Carrollton again continues to have, uh, d continues to do a nice job of getting contact on the ball, but everything's been on the right side of the field. Just can't seem to get ahead of these pitchers today. Outside. Houston ahead 2 0. Don't see any bullpen activity from either side. Start getting in these later innings. Of course, the bullpen arms could, the guys who have come on in both Herman and McConnell have a good amount that they can stay in, but we'll see how much they want in the early going as Houston dives out of the way. 3-0. I think the Carrollton faithful wanted him to wear it again. <laughs> Easier said than done when it's, it's going at my head. I said, when it's coming my head, uh, <laughs> there's no chance, buddy. I, uh, I am moving this thing. Herman's ready for the 3 0. His delivery too high. Ball four. Pair of base runners on now for Carrollton. Stepping up to the plate now is Hunter Allison, the first baseman. He's got a single and a pair of pop ups to the shortstop. And a quick mound meeting here from Coach Elmore as he will talk with his relief pitcher in Herman. Doubt there'd be any change here. Like I said, I didn't see any bullpen action. Probably just trying to get him to recenter, go after the batters. It is worth noting with Allison, in the three at-bats that he has had so far, Stump, he has only seen a combined five pitches. <laughs> so he's been going after it early. Are you saying patience are not a virtue? Uh, <laughs> apparently not right now. I'll take it back. He's seen six pitches. I counted wrong. <laughs> Again, made the uh, contact. You see a lot of a lot of his stuff's been going uh, on the left side of the field. Looks like he popped out to the third base and shortstop and Again, had a nice single there in the uh, the second inning. So he's made a lot of contact, uh, which bows well uh, if you got guys in the scoring position right now. Two on Carrollton. Prime scoring opportunity, but there's two outs. Allison sees the first one, a called strike on the outside corner. It's a big pitch for Herman, too, to kind of get him settled down a little bit after the air throwing, uh, walking the next player. Herman looks the runner back, delivers. That's a hot shot past the shortstop. Here comes the run. Hahn rounds third. And he will score easily as Amicone is unable to handle it. And the Carrollton Warriors in walk-off fashion get the first win of the season. Again, we talked about it's had some great contact throughout the game. That was a nice, solid hit up there uh, all the way to center field. Gabe Amicone unable to come up with the, uh, the ball to throw it home. And... Uh, Congratulations, the Carrollton Warriors there. Even if Famicone is able to grab that, that's going to have to take one heck of a throw to deliver home to try to even possibly get Han. Yeah, that he was that, on his horse. That ball was getting stuck in the uh, the grass uh, in there and slowing down there quite a bit. So to your point, uh, even if he would have gotten it, that would have been an extremely tough throw. Certainly would have been. So one to nothing. It is the Carrollton Warriors who open up and defend their home field. Off of the game-winning RBI for Hunter Allison. Stick around as Big Z Sports returns. We'll move things along to your Dumont's Sporting Goods post-game show, and we will hand out our McIntyre Realty Player of the Game. One to nothing. Warriors top the Pirates, and we're back after this. Hi, I'm Zach Motice with the Tuscross Insurance Agency. For all your auto, home, farm, and business insurance needs, contact our team at the Tuscross Insurance Agency. Or stop in and see us at one of our three locations in downtown New Philadelphia, Sugar Creek, or in Strasburg. Providing excellent service to the Tuscross Valley since 1885. Everyone here at the Tuscross Insurance Agency would like to wish all area athletes good luck this season. 
Hey, homeowners, are you ready to give your home a spring makeover? The Wayne Door Annual Spring Sale is happening April 1st through the 6th. Get ready to save big on garage doors, entry doors, windows, and more. It's the perfect time to enhance your curb appeal and security without breaking the bank. Visit our Dover and Cambridge showrooms to work with our team of experts. Let's make that spring dream a reality. And don't forget, for every $500 spent, enter for a chance to win one of three amazing prizes. Visit waynedoor.com for more details, and we'll see you April 1st through the 6th for the Wayne Door Annual Spring Sale. Wood Electric has been trusted with all of your electrical needs for over 30 years. They are the place to call for residential, commercial, and industrial work. Wood Electric is available 24 hours a day and ready to help with any electrical problem, outage, or installation. Wood Electric, serving Tuscarawas County and beyond since 1988. Like Wood Electric on Facebook or find them online at woodelectric.net. Cush Financial Group has been proudly serving the financial needs of local community members for over 35 years. The team at Cush Financial follows an industry-leading service model with the unique approach and fiduciary responsibilities associated with their board-certified financial planner. With over 75 years of combined experience, the advisors at Cush Financial Group are here to help you achieve your financial goals. Contact the office at 330-308-8700 or visit cushfinancial.com to schedule your free consultation today. Securities and investment advisory services offered through Independent Capital Company Incorporated member FINRA SIPC. Find your path to success at Buckeye Career Center. Buckeye students earned over 3,000 industry-recognized credentials this past school year, and over 130 students participated in our school-to-work program or an internship at a local business. Let us help you get a jump start on your future in a career of landscaping and turf management, pharmacy technician, HVACR, CAD development and design, or any of our over 30 programs. Enroll today for next school year by visiting BuckeyeCareerCenter.org. Wendy's new breakfast two for $3 Biggie Bundles let you create your own delicious combo. Choose from a sausage biscuit, egg and cheese biscuit, small seasoned potatoes, and a medium hot coffee. But it's obvious which combo's the best. Sausage biscuit and small seasoned potatoes. Well, maybe it's the fresh cracked egg and cheese biscuit with a medium hot coffee. Or two savory sausage biscuits. Uh, whichever you pick, you can't go wrong. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new two for $3 Biggie Bundles. Limited time only. U.S. price and participation may vary. Not valid in a combo. Single item at regular price. Live more comfortably this winter with the help of Unified Insulation Systems. Unified Insulation Systems is a full-service insulation and weatherization provider that can show you how to properly insulate your home or business. With good insulation from Unified Systems, you can prevent your gutters from freezing and get rid of your high-energy bills. Call Jeremiah Thomas today for your free quote at 330-773-7377 or visit unifiedinsulation.com. Call Unified Insulation Systems today, your most trusted name in insulation. At Kaufman Realty and Auctions, you've got options. Your property is unique, and our agents know how to sell it. Whether it's a traditional listing or live auction, we'll earn you top dollar. Our agents will utilize whichever method of sale works best. When buying or selling your next home, call on Kaufman. PAC Drilling, a family-owned and operated company since 2005 in Bolivar, takes pride in being an economic oil and gas drilling company. PAC's objective is to contribute to American energy independence through profitable development, operation, and marketing of oil and natural gas wells. PAC also employs operating technicians to oversee each and every well drilled to maximize its productivity and longevity. Contact PAC Drilling at packdrilling.com. Into the Dumont Sporting Goods postgame show, it's the Carrollton Warriors who pick up the opening day victory one to nothing over the Garraway Pirates in what was really a defensive and pitching battle throughout most of the evening. But it is time to award our McInturf Realty player of the game, and it's going to go to the sophomore first baseman for the Carrollton Warriors in – <laughs> Pardon me, in Hunter, <laughs> in Hunter Allison. Sorry, Hunter, as I got a little frog <laughs> in my throat. It was a long game out there. I'm sure you yeah. felt that way standing out there. Yeah, it was a real long game. Uh, now you went two for four at the plate, and on top of that, you know you uh, deliver the game-winning RBI. I know that your previous two at bats, you had popped up to short. What was going through your mind before you got that one on the ball through or on the ground through the hole? Uh, just keep my top hand strong. I was dipping a lot, getting under it. I was really just focused on the top hand, so I didn't dip. 
to stay on top of it. Now, you guys had a heck of an outing from uh, Hayden Jenkins in, your starting, uh, in his starting role. Uh, you guys hung with him all throughout, didn't let him score anything. Uh, we had to ask, though, you over there at first have an integral part then, obviously, in pickoff plays, too. Yeah. You guys got a lot of quick pickoffs. Yeah, we do. How so, much do you work on that? Uh, we work on a decent amount of practice. Uh, just kind of hard sometimes. With the lefties, you, you don't know if they're going home or to first. Like the first inning, the kid dove back to first, and he went home. So sometimes it's hard. Now, uh, tell me what's running through your mind when you deliver a game-winning RBI like that. I know when you were heading to first, they had to be just a big smile on your yeah, face. Yeah, I was just – well, first I was just concerned that Cooper would get home first, then center field bobbled it, and I knew it. And I don't even know what went through my head. It well, I know, awesome. Well, I know you probably weren't necessarily looking at Coach Conley over there in the third base box, but <laughs> no. he was waving him the whole way. You had yeah. nothing to worry about. Well, uh, Hunter, you are a McIntyre frailty player of the game. Great game out of you, and good luck to Carrollton the rest of the season. How does it feel to start off the year 1-0, though? It feels really good. We've been waiting on this day for a long time, so it feels really good to get the win. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time. Hunter Allison, your McIntyre frailty player of the game. He delivers the game-winning RBI, and Carrollton picks up the start, the opening victory one to nothing. Of course, be sure to stay, stu stay tuned with Big Z Sports' YouTube channel. We have plenty more baseball, softball, and even some track action upcoming during our spring season. Thank you to all of our sponsors. And for Casey Claxton and crew, as well as Aaron Stump today, I am Nick McWilliams, and we will be talking again with you soon, Z Country. Thanks for watching this Claxton Communications production of High School Sports on the Big Z Sports YouTube channel. For the latest news and scores, follow Big Z Sports on Facebook, on Twitter at Big underscore Z Sports, and on Instagram. Don't miss any of the live stream coverage all season long by simply subscribing for free to Big Z Sports on our YouTube channel. For the best in high school sports coverage, there is only one Big Z Sports.